I'm just got a that's um I'm so sorry. I, it was the auto aim. Oh. I apparently thought that the chicken deserved death more than whoa, hello. These people, huh? They just kinda string stuff about their about their town. I'm up here on the roof. I think I'll put some handgun ammo right here. No, yeah, no, right here on the roof. Yeah, that looks <laughs> that looks really nice. Is this the separate yeah, ways DLC? Yeah, I want to play as Ada Wong. Hand grenade. Yeah, that, that'd be good. Sorry, Mr. Spider. <laughs> really sorry. Wow. Mr. Bigman. That's him. <laughs> Just like, well, I'm gonna kick him. Sounds off. No. Monday.
looks like the Naruto puppet sounds, bro. Those are so creepy. Okay, so he... I'm fucking her up. Royally. Phobia as fuck. <laughs> oh God, get me out of here. Oh no.
Oh, I didn't realize he was. Oh, jeez. Michael. We can't 
can't take much more of this. Why are they talking about my dad? I never even met him. No. I don't know. Back. I don't know the first thing about him. Kind of thing. All I know is he died protecting me. Sometimes I try to imagine what my life would have been like if he hadn't died. But he've taught me to ride a bike, helped me with my homework, told me a story every night. Would he have been there for me? Proud of me? Sometimes when I feel lost or afraid, I try to imagine what he might have said to me. This is your house. It feels familiar. Like I've been here before. Look at all the decorations. Some kind of party? She's so little. Hard to believe one day she'll be old enough to share a bottle of wine with her old man. What's that voice? Is that... Dad? This must be my parents' house from when I was a baby. I bet other things also have my dad's memories. She bangs her spoon every time I play this. I wonder if she'll be a musician. I wonder if Dad played any instruments. She just cannot get enough of this stuff. I bet Dad would feed me as soon as I started crying. <laughs> Rose is such a picky eater. All she ever wants is fruit puree. I guess I've always loved fruit. Upstairs? I'll take a look. This tune has always been special for our family. I think I've heard this before. It's pretty. Back out, mirrors. Already growing out of these onesies? I can't believe I was ever this tiny. <sighs> Jeez. 
She's growing so fast. Getting bigger every day. This crib is so little. I wonder if she'll look like me when she grows up. Oh, I look so happy. Better for me. Happy half birthday, Rose. My gift to you is a promise. I'll always be there for you, no matter what. I'll be there every birthday to watch you blow out the candles on your cake. I'll be there to make you breakfast and walk you to school every day. I'll be there when you have a bad dream and sing to you until you fall back asleep. I'll hug you tight when you're troubled or worried and tell you that everything's gonna be all right. You are my precious rose. Never forget that, Dad. No one loves you. No! No! Michael! Michael, help! Michael! No! isn't here. <laughs> so, you don't have the purifying crystal? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> For that, you'll have to go deeper. Much deeper. Poor Rose. <gasps> She can't trust anyone. <laughs> Why are you doing this? <coughs> no one loves you. And when you're dead, no one will care! <laughs> Enough of this. Now you'll drown. I need to get out of this house.
Oh shit. No, I'm just gonna die. What am I doing? Mommy. No. No. Fuck. Michael.
This is like the first game. Resident Evil 7. I can I freaking suppress her.
give up, Rose. Find that crystal. Michael? My dad? No. Uh -huh. Don't give up, Rose. Find that crystal. Because of him, I can keep going. I have to find that crystal. <laughs> I'm on my own, but I have to keep going. doing out here Where the hell am I? What is this place?
those copies of me came from. <laughs> oh god. It's kinda hot. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna sit here. that feeling again. It's so strong. It must be the crystal. I'm almost there.
Aber wer ist denn noch? No. Plus it is in your stocks that what you're about to see got me banned from Twitch. This whole thing was live streamed on my Twitch channel, and during the stream, not even after, during the stream, my channel got taken down of the kingdom. Thankfully, I was able to appeal it and Twitch gave me my channel back and removed the copyright strikes, but Nintendo still did take me down from what you're about to watch. So that's fun. <laughs> I had a boss. And that I got very far behind on everything in life in general, including The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So we're going to watch official trailer number three, which I haven't seen yet. Then we're going to read some of the previews. The context um, ahead here is that I currently, and I'm so ready to hear my words, feel less excited about this than I felt about Breath of the Wild. So I appreciate it. That's not the official game, so Currently, I just don't have the same level of hype. And I think there are a number of reasons that I feel that way. I think partly it's that I felt like Breath of the Wild was so felt like Breath of the Wild felt like I don't feel like an Elden Ring too, but same as Elden Ring. It's just so hard to come off the Breath of the Wild. At least personally, I absolutely adore it. And I, yeah, I do have that sense of not as I feel like there's been slightly less hype. The second part of that, which is why I'm really excited to watch the trailer, is that I love games that introduce a lot of building mechanics, just great mechanics from an observation standpoint. I really love seeing what the community does with things, seeing what other people manage to create. That facet of video games has never appealed to me that much. I love Minecraft, but when it comes to Zelda, what I really want is dungeons, which I feel like will contest whether Breath of the Wild even had dungeons. That's up for debate. Um, I feel like the Divine Kingdom. As dungeons, uh, but I, I would love to see more dungeons, more elaborate dungeons than And again, while I think that the crafting mechanics is very cool and are so technically impressive, and how Zelda manages to do it, but never did I consider playing Zelda when I was six years old that they would end up being like the full of video games. You know, what they've done is just so, so, so impressive. But it's just not necessarily what I want to go I think it's also partly because. One of the games Zelda games that they had. It's very different. It doesn't feel like the new Hyrule that we're getting back to. Um, it's just different. So, what I'm watching. Official trailer 3. I'm going to catch up on some of the previews. Uh, this has 9.7 million views. That's a lot of views. So, let's make sure that it is apparently the highest quality that they do over it. Uh, the Nintendo of America channel. And let's see. I don't have anything spoiled. I'm excited. Oh, I'm excited. Tears of it's friend. Hi, Robert. So far, it's about the same as what we've seen before. Do you like that music, though? A lot of stuff you so Link. What will he do next? Look at him go. <laughs> so I don't remember if they've addressed full damage. Well, I like to look at that. <laughs> Breath of the Wild was so good. At least this is making me remember that. Oh. That's a hint at a dungeon, right? It's very dramatic. This is a good trailer. 
This is a very good trailer. <laughs> Dude, I have hella chills. This music. Okay. This is a really good trailer. Wow, that's a good trailer. I have goosebumps. So, a couple of things. <laughs> it's hinted at big bad guys in the way previous trailers didn't, which is like taking us away from the all of the new stuff they've introduced. I get why they had to focus on that previously, it just wasn't necessarily what I wanted to sell that as a first movie. I don't know if we're seeing dungeons there that Cartwright could have been a dungeon, but obviously there's just less focus on that in general. All the new abilities do look really cool. This makes sense for coming out of the sand. That looks awesome. So this is a very good trailer. Definitely the best trailer yet. I still would not say I'm as excited as I was about Breath of the Wild. But I think that that's also like, the time it came out, it was very different. What it did was very, very different. It came on new hardware that we didn't know the capabilities of yet. Whereas now, we're a little bit more aware of the limitations of the Nintendo Switch. The music was beautiful. Well, it had so much heart. Um, and it is really hard to sell people on the appeal of Breath of the Wild, which was in it, with the exploration. Uh, we spoke about this earlier during the stream, but I also was a fan of weapon degradation. I don't like it, but I like the way it makes me think it adds an extra layer of complexity during combat. I'm a big fan of that. Definitely have some just concern about how it's going to run. Um, Nintendo can do such a fantastic job with Mario and Zelda, but Breath of the Wild still had a ton of frame rate drops. I feel like gaming audiences are already getting less acceptance, less forgiving about that. my opinion, kind of undeniable that the Switch hardware is holding back games that are running on the Switch at this point, and I said that even with the Switch hardware, which I really like. It's, uh, it's just unfortunate that for all of the incredible innovations the team is obviously making and how impressive they are technically, it's just, it's just, it's just you know, it's just hard to, to ignore that. It's, it's just a bummer. Definitely miles ahead of Scarlet and Violet, don't disagree with you there. But the Switch is what it is. Okay. So, we also got, since this happened, a bunch of...
Cause you lost me as a friend Don't mean you gave me as an enemy I still wanna see you eat me Just not at my table It's cause you lost me as a friend Don't mean you gave me as an enemy I still wanna see you eat me Just not at my table
shut up him. And of course, he's not one of them, as I learned. He's not like <laughs> So this from IGN, it says The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom has been previewed. It does report that the craziest IEP, um, which I appreciate, but again, it is not the Imperial Zelda to me. I understand why you would show press that people know that it's still not something that you do. Uh, but it's just also shout out to Brian Altano. Oh, Brian wrote it. Cool. Brian is a huge Zelda fan. It says, it should come as a surprise to exactly nobody that The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is going to be an absolutely massive video game with a staggering amount of things to do and see. <laughs> it gives me up skill ups as well. Um, after all, it is the follow up to the Legends of the Breath of the Wild, one of the biggest, deepest, and rewarding, and most rewarding uh, open world games ever made. But what truly caught me off guard with my time playing Tears of the Kingdom wasn't just how much there was to do, good, and there certainly was tons, it was how much creative freedom I had as far as I had as I attempted to take on every part of it so far, which is what I love about Breath of the Wild. Again, I know Brian's a big Nintendo guy, and to say that you're Caught off guard means it's leagues ahead. Breath of the Wild's core philosophy is effectively see that landmark in the distance. Warfare in Tears of the Kingdom is more like see that landmark in the distance where you have a hundred different ways to get there and a lot of them might not work, but when one does, oh boy, you're gonna feel like a genius. I hadn't really considered that, okay? So because I guess my brain had focused on how much of it appears to be about crafting, which is something that doesn't appeal to me as much, I really hadn't considered that it could have the exact experience that I just had with Tunic which was making you feel really smart when you figure something out. It's a very satisfying thing when video games pull that up for everybody. If you haven't played The Witness, what's your name? I'll go again. Let's step back for a sec. Or should I say, soar above. Nice. Floating high above Hyrule are the Skylands, and that's where the large majority of my community is going to be taking place. I, yeah, I guess I don't have a concept of how big the Skylands are either. They look pretty big. And obviously that's the way that they're refreshing the map, right? Like they're making this, this map seem bigger and broader. For sure. If the higher blow is the updated open world for Breath of the Wild, which makes sense, the sky sections feel more akin to the Wind Waker, just minus the big red boat to get around. That's interesting. I do love Wind Waker. You can soar through the sky on your trusty paraglider, hoping you've got enough stamina to not only make the trip, but to stay on the side of whatever you're trying to get on top of. If you've played Breath of the Wild, you're already familiar with that exercise. But this time around, you've got a lot more options, and that's where things get really clever and occasionally really funny. So, I didn't really do that much like creative traversal in Breath of the Wild, I don't feel like. I kind of just ran places or rode the horse places. <laughs> Obviously you have to climb occasionally and a big part of it was like getting the stamina and then finally being able to climb something and maybe that'll just work in a different way now. Gliding, yeah, you do do a lot of gliding. Uh, this time around you've got a lot more options and that's what makes the game really clever and occasionally really funny. Using some pods lying around and decided to make a goofy double deck of bomber jet to fly through the skies in style. I couldn't tell you why I decided to make it a double deck of the size I thought it looked cool at the moment, and sometimes really that's reasonable enough. I'm just so interested if that's something I will really enjoy. I don't, I just don't know. It, I mean, it looks exactly the same as Breath of the Wild, really. Radio rolls, object manipulations, you probably still hit the force whistle button by accident. <laughs> you have to set custom vehicles and contraptions. It's just, it's, I, I'm still just not sure. All in all, from ultra hand to views and dozens of sky islands, these are just some of the things that make this game the rare direct sequel to the previous Zelda game feel the most fresh so far. That's because lots of the animations, objects, outfit sounds, and more feel very similar to Breath of the Wild, which is admittedly a slight letdown based on how much of that game hinged around the surprise and discovery. True. But Tears of the King is layered or tiered, and the way you interact with nearly everything is evolved in creative and dramatic ways, sorry, creative and dramatic ways, so I have little doubt there won't be a million new things to do and see in the full game. For now, I'm getting not to only experience it all myself, but to also see how the surely massive player base will make and break this game in very unstable ways. And to be clear, that's the thing I remain very excited about. I'm really excited to see what other people do. Let's check uh, skill up how to build video. Skill up tears of the game. It's 12 days ago. Video is sponsored by Express. Shut up, Ralph. Video is sponsored by Express. Yeah. Let me down, Ralph. Tell me about the world other than just the crafting. That's true. We have all seen the trailers, and we have all marveled at the ability of Link to MacGyver a speedboat out of some shit he found lying around on the ground. But let me tell you, you have absolutely no idea what is in store for you when it comes to this sandbox. 
even based on this small section that I have seen, I cannot believe what Nintendo have built here. This sandbox is un fucking believable. All right. The things that you are able to build, the process that you go through to build them, the different ways that each of your I mean, again, it's incredibly impressive. Combat. I simply cannot fathom the mind or the mind that could create all of this. I shudder to imagine the code base that makes it all possible. In two hours, I feel like I experienced six games worth of mechanics. Every new objective I encountered, I poked and prodded to see what the sandbox could withstand, and every single time it cackled back, more than able to handle anything I threw at it. The amount of ingenuity and experimentation that's possible here is just out of this world. There are definitely still it's, many unanswered It is nuts. Again, like, how much it's, it's just like the game rock. It is, yeah. I'm not trying to take away from any of, of how I feel about this, that this is extremely impressive, and that... Like, we did an episode of Playbooks, in the video game podcast I have about it, about how impressive it's the only word to use Zelda's physics are. Uh, it's just not generally what I look for in a Zelda game. Like, it almost feels like a different IP at this point, you know? And that's not to say it doesn't look good. It's just different. People like different. We respond to the complaints of Breath of the Wild being too sandbox-driven and not focusing enough on the legend of Zelda the part. That's you what I'm after. The grand temples and dungeons, etc., Clear that Nintendo are definitely doubling down on the sandbox. Yeah. It's unclear if they haven't also buttressed that other side of the game as well. There are also plenty of question marks around performance, which I'll tell you right now, wasn't great. And yeah, it's not uh, a final build, yada yada. But we all know the limits of the Switch at this point, and Tears of the Kingdom appears to be pushing up hard against them. Yeah. But even with these outstanding questions. And I do wonder if um so Brian's preview said it was mostly pretty consistent. Ralph's preview said the performance was not great. I do wonder if this, like, then, like he said, butting up against the limitations of the Switch hardware is going to be the thing that kind of forces Nintendo to iterate on that hardware. I think it's going to be an issue 100%. I totally agree. Yeah. It's just, it just holds the dev teams back at this point. Two hours with this title has already left me convinced that this is not resting on Breath of the Wild's morals at all. That's good news. Even in this tiny, tiny window, this was one of the most flexible, responsive, and creative sandboxes I've ever experienced in a video game. It's super impressive that a franchise that's been around for this long and has inspired this many different things is just, like, reiterating on open-world sandboxes, though. Like... They might... Okay, so let's do like, this for the same like, even if this doesn't end up being uh, uh, what people want from a traditional Legend of Zelda game, I almost wouldn't be surprised if, like, if I can remove that part of my brain, which I think maybe I haven't been able to do just yet, and I'll see come Thursday if I can stop being like, well, where are the dungeons? Like, and I can stop thinking about it that way. It wouldn't surprise me if Zelda managed to, like, soft reinvent the sandbox genre with the amount of creativity that everyone's talking about being here. Like, it's being so hyped up by everybody who played it um, that I wonder if it's, like, you know, another new benchmark after Breath of the Wild already was. And that is impressive as hell, considering how much of an influence Zelda has already had on video games as a whole. Even if I'm not getting my dungeons. <laughs> I don't want to take any credit away from them regarding how impressive this is. In my own hands-on demo, I was faced with a puzzle where I needed a log, but there weren't any around. There were, however, some trees, but I didn't have an axe. So, Very I had cool. a stick, I found a nearby rock, I was able to fuse the two of those together to create an axe, at which point I could chop down a tree. And I wonder it. how hard it's going to be. Like, am I going to be Googling solutions for things, or is it just... I feel like it's probably going to end up being one of those things where I did think this kind of happened with Breath of the Wild, where you get stuck and you're like, hmm, I wonder if this works. And you're like, oh my god, it does work. So back to crossing this lake. The Nintendo rep built the same log raft that Aonuma did, but instead of attaching fans to it, they had some rockets in their inventory, and so that's what Seems they took so out. Silly. They dropped them on the floor, picked them up with ultra. So because all of the Zonai stuff is so important, I also wonder how big your inventory is and how much inventory management will be a thing. Because it was sort of a thing in Breath of the Wild. You'll find these large floating blocks. They're essentially zero buoyancy. They won't rise or fall except when something pushes or pulls them. So I get on the first of these and I want to cross toward another aisle. And since it's directly ahead of me, I can point the rockets in that direction and off I go. So then you just have to hit them? Yeah. But their angle's a little bit off. Later, I wanted to access no, okay. an aisle that was above me, so I would attach the rockets at an angle, and then that is where I would go. Damn. This, this is so impressive. Like, if they don't win every technical achievement award, I'd be shocked. Understand the importance of physics in this sandbox. 
Do not imagine every item is programmed to go in a specific direction. Oh, you can move it like while it's already in the air as well? Whoa. How I know that? Watch this. Do you see the way that glider is flying away? It doesn't go in a straight line. It undulates up and so down. So cool. That is how aerodynamics works. If you throw a paper plane, it will do this, but it loses most of its forward propulsion. God, that's so impressive. They line. just keep doing it. What about the animals? You can't do anything with the animals. Zonite devices have stamina in the form of zonite charge. And part of the gameplay loop here is to steadily increase that charge by various means so your contraptions can remain powered for longer. Here, with this dumbass flying... Okay, board. so the zonite charge thing that um, Ralph's talking about here has got to be how you prevent people from just being able to like get to sections of the game they aren't supposed to go to yet. Kind of in the same way that I feel like just stamina bar was in Breath of the Wild. Because um, we saw some of those abilities where you can like rise through the bottom of a, a cave and come out on top um so the yeah the batteries here have got to be their means to stop us from just being able to cross the map and end up in a restricted area i imagine it's just going to slowly dole out more charge so you can get further away made. had it more zone i charge i would have been able to stay in the air for longer but instead my flying machine morphs from hot air balloon into lead balloon No fall damage at all. So I learned a lot from this battle attempt. Namely, this thing turns like an oil tanker. I'd imagine that it would kind of turn on a dime, but this turn arc you saw, that was me hard locking to the left. Well, yeah, because it's stuck on a I don't have anything to flat that plank arc. on the back, I'm right? Point myself at the objective for the next flight. Here's how that works. It's Again, really interesting. I learned that I didn't have enough upward. Yeah, because you don't have enough upward propulsion, and at the same time, you don't have any means to actually, like, there's no axis on this back. Okay, okay, I'm going to love this. I take back everything I said. The fact that I'm so into watching Ralph solve this problem, dude, you know what it's going to be? Okay, if I get rid of the Zelda part of my head, if I look at this as, oh, well, maybe this is a really, really good game to stream, or a really good game to play with other people in a way that I think Breath of the Wild was too. Um, but this even more so because you'll be solving it with each other. It's Legend of Zelda Science of the Kingdom. And I love that. <laughs> and it's going to be really, really fun to solve these problems with a group of people. For sure. Thank you, Ralph, for that. Appreciate it. Shame about the Switch, obviously. Yeah, it's one of those things where when you talk about something being as creative as this seems to be, and obviously less of the promise of the Zelda that we all know and love. You kind of just got to try it before you... Good morning, everybody. Today is a very exciting day because we are getting some actual solid gameplay, I'm hoping. This video is 13 minutes and 47 seconds <laughs> of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, which I still can't believe is coming out. It's, it's just unfathomable. My brain can't process that yet. Uh, any minute now, Zelda's coming out and we're going to be playing it. It's wild. Um, also, before we go any further... My face is messed up from boxing. It's going to keep happening over the next four weeks because I have a boxing match on April 15th that I have to train for, so just excuse my swollen eyes, please. Uh, let's get to it. It is time for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, Mr. I don't know gameplay demonstration. You're watching this on the Nintendo of America YouTube channel. Let's do it. Hello, everyone. I'm A.G. Aonuma, producer of The Legend of Zelda series. First, I have some news. I love news. Development on The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is now complete. It's done. Thank you very much for waiting. Many of you are looking it's forward to this game, And we've released a few trailers so far. Although it'll just be a brief glimpse, I'm going to actually play the game for you all today and show you what it's like. I'm so excited. Okay? Yep. Let's begin. Sounds great. Here we are in the land of Hyrule. Like the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, there's a vast world to explore. I like Link's cool tattoo. Of course, it's not just the same world as is. It's changed in many ways. If we talk about all of the changes today, we'll run out of time. So we hope you'll seek them out for yourself. When it does launch. look very similar. 
In this game, sure that I've the vast world of Hyrule reaches high into the sky. Yeah, it is. You'll notice some land masses floating up there. We call them sky islands. You're probably oh, the UI looks really something. Different. How do you get to the sky islands when they're so high up? Yeah, I was wondering that. If we take a look, oh, something's falling from the sky. Do you see it? Yep. I wonder what that is. Let's head over to it. Is that like? Lift? We're almost also, sorry if you can hear my dog fell. chewing on his butt. Here it is. Okay, let's use one of Link's new abilities. This Link looks so cool. I love what he's wearing. It's on the rock that just fell. Ooh. Look, it started rising. 
This power is known things. as recall, which rewinds an object's movement. Since I just used recall on the fallen rock, I can now rise into the sky. We're a lot closer to the sky islands. Let's use the paraglider to reach one of them. There are a few other sky islands floating here, too. I made it. Very curious about the potential. There are lots of ways to reach the sky islands, so we hope you'll try a few different methods. I can't wait to see like the okay. physics YouTube now video stuff that comes out of this. That was the island. coolest. Just like on the surface, there are several man-made structures. Some trees are also growing here. You won't see many of those yellow trees on the surface, though. Let's walk around for a bit. Pretty. It's very Elden Ring. <laughs> There's a branch on the ground. When you find something like this, you should pick it up. It might come in handy later. Let's continue. Oh, something's there. This is a brand new enemy called a construct. He's cute. We'll fight it using the branch we just picked up. <laughs> ah, the branch broke. I not wonder good. if not good. This is a demo build. Get another branch, and it does look pretty empty. But I guess it. I guess I thought that of the Breath of the Wild gameplay too, and it didn't end up actually feeling really? empty. We've now explored more of this Sky Island. As expected, fighting with just a branch won't get us very far. Also, this branch is almost broken. So here's another one of Link's new abilities. If we use this branch and the rock over here and do this, look, we can stick them together. Whoa! This is called Fuse. <laughs> That's we awesome! Stick objects together to create new weapons with various effects. Let's take on another construct with this Fuse Damn. weapon. I'm so excited to see what like the community We're does. Two of them at once. Like how creative we can get with this. Oh, we beat one. The weapon's attack has definitely improved. The other That's branch so cool. broke, but this weapon has much better durability. You can do all sorts of things weapon by durability experimenting confirmed. with the fuse ability. You can fuse two weapons, for example. If we take this long stick and fuse it with a pitchfork, we can create a weapon with a much longer attack range. Oh my god. I love it. That's so With cool. this, we don't have to get too what close to enemies, and we can safely attack from a distance. You can also fuse arrows with materials in your inventory. For instance, try fusing this leaf to an arrow. Well, I want to fuse it with some meat. Fuse an ice elemental material to an arrow, and you can freeze faraway enemies. That's such a cool evolution of the cooking mechanic. Very useful. In addition, hmm, let's see. Ah, there's a bird flying around. If you're out hunting, you might feel that aiming with an arrow is too difficult. Apparently, my eyes can't track fast-moving objects as of late, so my shots rarely land. So, at times like these, here's an eyeball you can get by defeating monsters. Fuse it to an arrow and... Look, Whoa. it homed in on the target. That's cool. Let's try this on another bird. I'll just fire in that general direction. That's very simple. Neat. Good Depending idea. on what you stick together, the fuse ability could also be beneficial for hunting. It's really exciting. I fused <laughs> a mushroom to my shield. <laughs> now, you're probably wondering if this has any use. I am, yeah. Well, this mushroom is actually a puff shroom. Oh my god, I want to Let's cosplay this Link so this. bad. He looks so cool. I blocked with the shield. Okay, there's smoke now. The enemies lost sight of Link, oh. so... Attack! That's really neat, Even yeah. if you struggle with combat, you can take down enemies using similar methods. In the previous game, you usually get powerful weapons by defeating strong enemies. But in this game, fusing even the weakest weapon with something else could turn it into a useful weapon. There are even more gameplay options for sticking things together. Let me demonstrate. Man, this is going to be Some so of the interesting. Some islands even have rivers. 
We'll want to cross this one, but swimming across it, well, the river's too wide for that. We need a boat. Confuse a boat together. I think we saw this in a previous. There's anything that resembles a boat around here. So, we'll lift up this log and attach it to a second log. Oh my god. Let's do one more. People are going to do such we'll cool stuff this with over this. here and attach a third log. It's a makeshift raft. This is another new ability called Ultra Hand. Even though the logs are currently attached, they can be detached. Let's modify the shape of the raft. What is this green goop? You can always attach things or detach them like this. Now, if we put this on the water, it's made of wood, so the buoyancy <sighs> will keep it afloat. Pause for a second, okay. This is super interesting, right? And I'm very impressed. I, I consistently felt like Nintendo was very innovative. Um, I wonder if doing this means that we will have like a community of people who approach this game like Minecraft, where we just see people building giant forts and giant houses rather than actually playing the game at all. Like if we just see people building crazy stuff and it could take off in a way that that Minecraft or even like a Roblox type did like I feel like there's so much potential for a community to use this like on YouTube or Twitch that um I don't know how limited it is or like how many things you can stick together at once but that that's really exciting to me that maybe that'll be the first thing I try is like see what crazy stuff I can build it's, that's very cool we've made a simplified version of a boat However, it won't move in its current state, so we'll need something to propel it forward. Hmm. There's something here. Let's try hitting it. Oh, wind. It's blowing wind. Looks like we found a fan. Why don't we try attaching it? We'll attach another one. This I wonder what happens if you only attach balance. one. Like, will it just... How good at the physics? Okay, they're attached. So All right, let's try moving the boat. Hey, it's moving. Oh, what's the it's battery? sailing pretty fast with the wind from the fans. Maybe that's the fans? Since we added two fans, we should be able to cross the river in no time. All right, we reached the other side. In the most recent oh trailer, we showed scenes of so Link nuts. riding a large car and a flying machine. Those vehicles They're actually aren't made. in the game from the start. Instead, you'll be able to freely craft them on your own. There are all sorts of objects you'll come across in this game. And depending on how you use your imagination, you can do a lot with them. So, try crafting different oh, things. This is so this impressive and not at all what I want from Zelda in a way that it's like, nobody asked for this. You just did something unbelievably cool. I think it's not what you expect from here. a Zelda game at all. Okay, watch this. Look, I passed right through the ceiling. This new ability is called Ascend. If you're in a place with a ceiling, you can go through. Can't do it everywhere. To I the floor what that is going to do in dungeons. Does this game have dungeons? There are some restrictions, I assume it has but dungeons. what's great about this ability is that as long as there's a ceiling, you can use it anywhere. For example, this place has a cave with a hill right above it. If we use the ability here... How do dungeons work? Come on, keep going. Okay, we emerged at the top of the hill. They must in be the sky islands. Game, you had to use stamina to climb a mountain. But in this game, if there's a mountain with a cave like this one, you can now get to the top without having to climb all the way up. Here's another example. Imagine you're stuck in a cage. If it's got a ceiling, you know what to do, right? Exactly. Oh, there's another construct. It seems to be holding a strange weapon. Some enemies are equipped with fused weapons, so battles will play out a bit differently from the previous game. Ah, it blew me away with wind. That's cool. Looks like it's got some sort of fan. 
<laughs> ah, I got pushed off. Oh, well, let's just return to the surface. You can quickly descend from the sky to the surface like this. It feels so good. <laughs> In the sky, you'll be able to look out across the land. You can also search Impressive. for destinations that pique your interest. Once you've chosen your destination, you can speed things up like this. Certainly the most Let's vertical of any um, Zelda game. He'd be dead, but okay. Back on the surface. There are still so many things I'd like to show you, but let's leave it at that for now. Oh my god, I love what he's wearing. I want to cosplay that like think? dude. I'm gonna figure out some if I can do that. Some of new abilities were updated mm. from the previous game. I'm sure some of you watching me play were thinking, wait, if you could do that, then maybe you could do this too. Correct. In this game, you can do a lot of things just by thinking about what's even possible. There's still a lot of new gameplay, mysteries, and encounters we couldn't show today, but they're all jam-packed into this unfamiliar Hyrule, and we hope you'll use your imagination to explore it. That's all for today. Man. Thank you for watching. It's not May, right? So... This is super interesting, like very, very interesting and very exciting. I'm really excited um, to see what other people do with this. This podcast and every other podcast conversation previously about uh, Why? Yeah, how do you feel about that? I think that's actually retarded. Really? I think that's retarded advice. Yeah. I don't know. No, there's... <laughs> that way. He's not wired that way. He kicked your wife out? I kicked him out, yeah. Why? Yeah, how do you feel about that? I think that's actually retarded. Really? I think that's retarded advice. Try to debate me into I, Islam. I, debate you into Islam? Yeah, tell me why I should join Islam. If you marry a feminist, <laughs> you're just going to end up arguing... Also, where the fuck is my... Public apology. Apology for what? If that's what you think the best version of yourself is, rather than having a large family. Okay, here she is. Let me. Nice, Melina, everybody. Okay, I wanted to, to put something on to make you feel a little more comfortable. Really? Yeah. You trying to be like Steven? You trying to be like your biggest idol? I thought this would this would make you feel at home. Oh, I see. That's cool. <laughs> Say hi, chat. How you? So how, how you been? How you doing, dude? What, what do you, are you think? up to nowadays? I am, you know, just being red pill, praying to God. Wait, I thought you became Muslim. I thought you left the red pill. Well, I think I think Islam is the final red pill. I think that's the end. Really? I think I that heard, that's the, the I heard some rumors that you were debating against the pressure for people the other day. Yeah, I was just talking about that. I want to see. Okay, well, let me just. I was going to bring this up later. Yeah. But what do you think about this take right here? You, you should bring it a little closer. Yeah, okay. This is this is the red pill philosophy, and this is this is making me feel like destiny. Reading this, I'm like clutching my pearls. He said, "Trad cons think it's a good life is in some pastoral scene of children and grandchildren singing hymns at his bedside while a dutiful wife holds his hands as he comfortably passes. It's a pleasant fiction. I hope I die alone in a very fast car with my foot in the accelerator, listening to." Wait, slam. what is the context of this? You gotta give me a lot more context. It's probably based on the context of what I'm talking about. Like he he was advocating towards vasectomies. And saying a high value man needs to avoid family creation. And so I'm talking, well, track cons say that like you're supposed to have kids and you know have a family by your bedside. Oh, okay. So you, now you're on the path of having a family. That's important. I've always been on the family path. Really? I've never been anti family. Oh, okay. I've never been anti family. I thought all these people in Friendship Bay was not really talking about family at all. No, my wants to have four wives. They want to, but that's not a family. Four wives. We're talking about like one wife, like kids. Is that what we're talking about? Well, having kids, that, I mean, four wives is a big family. That's the that's a classic conservative family is to have four wives. Maybe no not kids, maybe not in nothing. America maybe not in America or Sweden, but uh, no having I'm also having many children. <laughs> also having many okay. children. So it's easier to have twenty children my, with four wives say, than with one. Let's say you meet my dad, okay? And okay. then he says, okay, so you believe in family. What do you think he What do you think he's thinking? Family. Right? He's probably thinking nuclear family, um, mother and father, and then kids at home. 
That's his idea. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, besides the four wives thing, I don't know if I want that, and I know Myron does want that. He does want children. He does want to have a lot of children. Okay. okay. But you want to have four wives? It's possible. Your wives are... I kicked him out. You kicked your wives out? I kicked them out, yeah. Why? So I have to that be doesn't restrained. sound very family friendly to me. I, they, they can't be here. They can't be here? No. What? You just kick them out in the street? They have their own places. They What? They Is that the family you have? I thought you would I have a big mansion. I'm not. I am wives. unmarried. I am unmarried. You're I don't, unmarried. Okay. I'm unmarried. Okay, but tell me about your path to uh, mar marrying four wives. What's the path? Yeah. Um, I, have, I know some couple girls who are, could be marriage material, and you spend time with them, and then you, you weed the ones that you would like to marry and the ones you wouldn't. Do you kick them out? <laughs> you break up with wait, them. Do they, do you, you break, break up with them. Why do you break, wait, wait, hold on. So you're telling if, me if right now. If they don't fit the criteria, how, what are you confused about? If, you, if, they, if, you, if they're so not marriage material, you kick them out. You kick them out, but you mean you broke up with them just now, so they, so they can't be here? Oh, no, they, they don't, I don't live with women. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, I you don't, don't want to live with them. No, 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 no. Really? It's also boring. Why wouldn't you want to have like a connection with someone? Live with someone? Eventually. Someone, someone, eventually. eventually. I'm 20. How old do you think I am? We're the same age. I'm, yeah, that's. I'm way. I'm not. Yeah, but isn't the conservative structure is to have you know kids like early on? I thought that was the whole deal. I think 28 is still early on. Really? I, yeah, 27. Is that still pretty early now? I know, like, true, and over time, it's probably not. But like nowadays. In the new millennium, that's pretty, that's reasonable. I can't get over the wig. I feel at home. You're right. Thanks for that. Gotcha. I okay, I want you to to rate Red Pill streamers. Rate him? Is that your game? This is where you came up. I'm going to rate his uh, Yeah, looks. one through ten. And chat, you need to keep keep score so that I remember. I don't feel like I'm left to Okay, I'm attracted to brains. This is not going to work. You're just not going to get an answer. You're attracted to brains? Yeah, I'm attracted to brains. That makes sense. So what do you? Well, let's so just go just, based off physicality. I just, I legit can't do it. I'm sorry. Like I, I actually can't. It's like my brain doesn't work that way. It's not wired that way. Okay. Well, uh, rewire your brain. I can't. But look, look at his hair. Look at the waves. He, there's nothing going on there. Like I don't know. There's, <laughs> there's that's nothing is going on there. What do you mean nothing's going on there? <laughs> look at his hair. Well, I don't know what's going on with hair. It just has hair. A little bit of hair. Yeah. I don't know. What are we supposed to say? Like, what would you, what would he you rate him? He doesn't look too happy. He looks kind of grumpy. It, you know? Oh, he looks happier there, I guess. Is that, yeah. Yeah. So you must have some brains if he's with Trump. So he's like, okay, so what I know about him is that he, he's happy that I met Trump, so he must like Trump quite a bit. Yeah. Raw dog it. Okay, I can tell what kind of personality this is, and it's not my type. He's a professional raw dogger. Yeah, it's it's not my it's not my cup of tea. I'm gonna give it a one. One? Yeah, from the little that I've seen of the personality, this is what I see of him. What about? I'm sorry, I didn't look at that. that. He's a family man. That look, looks like a his... forest smile. It looks like those kids are having guns against your heads. Those are I'm his sorry. kids. He adopted them. They, yeah, they don't. They. That one out of not, ten. They don't look happy. I'll say that. Okay, I can see through that. That's a scream for help right there. What about him? He, he's running from the police. Is he? It doesn't look like he's running. It looks like they're pointing at someone else that they're supposed to arrest. What do you mean? He's a black man being persecuted by white police. I thought you were liberal. I don't I don't really know if they're trying to... Are they... I don't even... Why is he pointing? Because uh, he's pointing at, at you, ready to get a better rating than one. You can't, oh. you can't give my man to Deanna one at a time. I Because it's not my type. You know my type. The blue hair. See? you got to give me some people with blue hair. Yeah. Okay, what about my boy... Aiden, another red pill streamer. Oh, I know about him. He's actually probably the most stupid person I've ever heard talk. What the? Bumbaka! Okay, so you're just going off. What about, like, look at the eyebrow slits. Look at that nice smile. He looks so friendly. He looks friendly. He's probably really nice. He's in Japan right now, traveling the world, That's learning more. probably cool, yeah. Like that. Like traveling. That's great. So, yeah, you, maybe you guys could travel together. He's probably, uh... I don't know. He's like one of those dudes that you meet in the elevator and you say hi to and it's like a good, you know, interaction and then that's it. Just small talk? Yeah. Like, have a good one. That, that's the sort of dude for me. Look, look at, look, uh, what about, uh, oh, that one's good. Look at the lighting. The Travis Scott lighting. Mm. Nice watch. What, what, out of 10. You gave Jadion a 1. What's Aiden? I said that already. I you already rated. I said the elevator guy. 
Okay, He's like what? an elevator guy. I don't know what that is out of 10. Like, just a guy that you see and you're done. Like, you're done, like, hi. So like, four, have a good one. Five? I'm trying to go through, like, what is society like here? That's what you're asking. Were you asking what I personally think? And yeah, what I, what, what you're, I'm asking your opinion. But I can't. I go, you don't I have an opinion? Look. I, I know, because I can't go by look. It just doesn't, it doesn't work. You can bring up women, and I can do it easily. Because I'm a, like, uh, there, a, there are some, there's some women in here? Trust me, I curated really? this list. Okay. I spent time. Bring up the, I want to see the women. I think it's, chat, chat wants to see the women, too. They will, we'll get to the women. Okay, we'll we all want to see the women. We'll get to the women. It's it's in a curated order. I need to go in order. Oh, so let's just get, okay. Basically, you heard him. You think he's dumb. So good. Just right off of intellect or whatever. One one through ten. Uh, he is a. He's probably fun to be around. Eight or four. Four. Yeah. Sure. Okay. All right. Aiden got a four. That's all you're going to hear. Okay. Nick, he's a ten out of ten. Halves. Wait. <laughs> what makes Nick a ten? What the? Because he's obsessed with me. I love obsessed men. Yeah, he's a tenant. He's obsessed with me. Okay, so uh, before he was trying to uh, prank everyone that he's going to talk to and stream with Kanye, he had like an entire like uh, montage of videos, and I was like fifty percent in it, just like hearts and metal everywhere. He's obsessed with me. He didn't eat your sandwich though. No. He didn't trust your sandwich. No, of course he doesn't trust me. I'm a dominant. That's what he likes, but what? you don't trust it. Just like hearts and metal everywhere. He's obsessed with me. He didn't eat your sandwich, though. No. He didn't trust your sandwich. No, of course you don't trust me. I'm a dominant mommy. That's what he likes, but what? you don't trust it. What? Yeah, that's what it is. What does that mean? Bruh. You don't know what it means? It's like the mommy milk meme? Yeah, that's what he likes. Why, why are you saying that? He likes it. How would you know that? I can tell. I'm a woman. What gives that? What gives Nick? Look at that. He's a leader. He's like the next Putin. Yeah, it doesn't mean court. that they can't be submissive privately. I think there are all of these leaders just want to be babies. Boom, Mocha! Okay, Nick got a 10. Yeah. Tristan Tate. No. One through 10 on Tristan Tate. <laughs> zero. Zero? <laughs> yeah. Why zero? He just looks like a zero. A zero loser? Yeah. Look at those cars. There's a Bugatti, there's uh, Lambos. Yeah, just full of insecurity right there. You think he's insecure? He looks pretty confident and stoic to me. No, he's trying to he's trying to tell everyone that he's confident because he's insecure. That's what I what that's what it screams to me when I see this. What do you think he's insecure about? Look at him. I, I don't know. I'm asking. If you're gonna take pictures like this, you're insecure. About what? About everything about yourself because you need to prove to everyone that you are something. If you're a confident person, you don't need to sit there and prove to everyone that you have your cars and your money and your watch and your cigars. You don't need to do that. So zero. Yeah. You're not really convincing me on the insecurity thing. Really? I don't, you're not very I just convincing. explained it. It's, it's not, but like, what would make him insecure? Because he's taking pictures like this. Like, if he was standing there, like, smiling, we're happy with puppies, I would, a lot, like, I would like that a lot more. I think you're just a feminist. Really? Yeah, yeah well, yeah, that's true. Okay, okay what about my boy, Poop, oh, right here? Oh, he's great. I love him. No. <laughs> Shout out to Poop. Wait, wait, where is the dolphin picture? I want to see the dolphin picture. That was the best one. Why didn't you pick the dolphin picture? I think this is the this would have worked on you. You see how I curated everything? This one. Uh, <laughs> you want men to be so you like that one. That specifically. What Wait, is? Yeah, these are so great. I love them. Why do you like to men to be feminine so bad? Because it's fun being like I don't make a noise ever when I have sex. It's that has not nothing to do with feminine. feminine. That has nothing to do with masculine. Any emotions? I don't feel things. Do you think you can? You, you think you can okay. be emotional and be mad? That wasn't the question, though. I think you could be loud, like. What is feminine about this? He's he's fucking. He's getting kissed on the cheek with, by, by a dolphin. He's getting kissed on Would the cheek by a dolphin. Would you not want to have a dolphin kiss? Is that what you're telling me? Okay, but this is objectively more feminine than the, the last picture of him riding a, a horse. That's masculinity, right there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sitting on a horse. That's my president. That's my dictator. Wait, isn't there a bear? 
No, maybe, maybe that's a Photoshop. But you're, you're avoiding, I don't understand, like, what, you, you want to be a mommy milker? You think Nick's, uh, like, submissive to stuff? Yeah, he does, he told me. <laughs> no, I don't, yeah, he actually did get it. He, apparently there was a woman that was in traffic, and he got, he got turned on by it. He told us it was dream. Okay, but what is your, I, I don't get that. Okay. I, I don't get that with your type of women, I never understood that. Like, why do you like to emasculate men? We're not, that's, they're doing it themselves. Okay, but why do you like emasculate men? Because I don't care about masculinity. What's that have to do with anything? You don't care about masculinity? Do you think that you liking Pink Floyd is masculine? I think that art is separate than your masculinity and femininity. So why can't, like, fun things like playing with dolphins be the same sort of thing? What, like... Avoid the do avoid those scenarios. Like, overall, like, you do like men to be emasculated. I care about you liking Pink Floyd in movies more than anything else, if there's anything like... Like, you, if you think that this is... It is yeah, security, I, if you said, I like Pink Floyd and I know a lot about them and I know the songs and I can play them on guitar, I think I would like you a lot more than those fucking cars in the background. Okay, you're kind of dodging the question, but it's fine. What about no, I'm not. I'm just telling you how I work. You're asking me. And I ju just don't function in the way that you're thinking. There's other ways of functioning than just what you're saying. It's all about brains. Yeah. That's sure. okay. And interests and hobbies and chemistry. That's what I think it is about. Like what you enjoy. So what's Putin though? He enjoys what about that. He just looks so cute, doesn't he? Yeah, chat, he we're, so everybody cute. in the chat is I mean, confused. I, you're not making any sense to us. No, so, I understand. I'll try to explain I'll try to explain to them. That's what I'm here for, hopefully. It, it would um, be easy if you would rank them actually. If I should rank them? What, why would I? That's not even fun. Look at him, he's cute. So what, just say a number out of ten. It's so simple. But there's so much more complicated than that. What? Okay, what do you then mean? just say a number and you can still talk about the complication. But it doesn't even mean anything. Yeah, it doesn't mean anything. It's just so a why funny you number. So much? Why does it? It means so much more if I'm like describing how I feel and like the things that I'm thinking about them. Doesn't that make so much more sense than it just number? What the fuck does a number mean? What? It's just a fucking number. Are you like? I can't imagine. You speak like you're in school, dude. You're not talking I'm like an artist. To get to okay? right I'm now. an artist. You're an artist too. You're an artist. So, yeah. What do you grade? Huh? What, what's your? Just say a number and then talk about art. Just say a number, one through ten. No. Humor me. No. Okay, fine. <laughs> fine. Putin has no number. The other people have numbers, but you can't rate him. You don't even know. The rest of them, we had excuses because. You gotta look like my dad. No, not really. Actually, I mean, he's like Nordic, white, doesn't have hair. I don't know. He's with do okay. He's playing with the dolphins. He's a he's a pain. Okay, Jesus Christ, man. All right, what about this guy? This he is plays uh, guitar. the Godfather of the Red Pill, Rolo Tomasi. Oh, didn't he say that you should all cut up your dicks? That's the one. That's the guy who's saying he wants to die alone, listening to Slayer, and get a vasectomy. Yeah, how do you feel about that? Family. I think You're that's doing... actually retarded. Really? I think that's retarded advice. So why why do you think that? Because we should have kids. It's very important. We, I led the stream talking about that. It's a very, that's the happiest state of a person's life is having a family. That's our purpose. That's why we're here is to create children, to create a legacy. And his opinion is no, no, no family. Is no family. I want to go play my electric guitar and listen to Slayer. Based. And then call women He's a whore. 10. I like that. Fuck women. They suck. We should all die. This no more, no more human. Ironic that's humor. No more human. Just rate him. Just, no more. A 10. Just rate him. Do you like no older more. guys? No more. Look Yeah, sure. You like his hat? Uh, I like his uh, guitar. Hey, thanks for the thanks for the 20, HK. <laughs> WC, I appreciate you. Honestly, though, like, say he asks you out. He says no women. That's a 10. No, no. Based. You, you get a vasectomy so that you can fuck women and then not have kids. That's the whole point. Is because yeah. you can't control your sexuality. No more human. Great. I'll just die. Awesome. Just, just rate him. Yeah, ten. Just rate him. Ten. I feminists rate him. Just, just unbearable. I can't. What? Am I just a it's feminist? Just unbearable. It's so difficult to get through. Okay, get more. You remind sensitive. me of the. You remind me of the two. Destiny brought these two girls on here, um, and they were like these debate girls, and all they did was just like, well, when I, and they just, it's just like, <laughs> they just exist to argue. That's your whole existence. I'm not even arguing. I'm. I, I, I'm feeling myself get more destiny <laughs> as I'm talking to you. That's the sensitive parts right there. I'm just triggering the... I'm triggered. The, yeah, you're triggered. Say it, I'm upset. Say it. Say you're upset. Do you see the, Do you see this right now, Chat? Say you're upset. Do you see how badly she wants to Say be Say I'm upset. She wants to be in charge. Say I'm upset. We're doing 10 push-ups right now because you want to be a man so bad. 10 push-ups.
She's strong as shit, chat, for no reason. Yeah, you, you're going to do the bicep flex, right? Should I do the flex with you? They Nah, good, good form for a girl too. I thought she was gonna do the girl push-ups on her knees. She's not breathing. I haven't heard one breath. Are you are you okay? How many was that? Flex real quick. What the fuck? Do you think you could beat Destiny in a fight? Well, Jedi is a no, so. Would you think that you could beat Destiny in a fight? Like, real talk. I don't know. He's pretty strong now, too. We do like pretty similar lips, or. I don't know. Imagine you guys spar. Okay, now, now we did the push ups. We did. You wanted. We, we gave you your man moment. Yeah? Yeah, you, we gave you your little masculinity. Yeah. Feminist moment. Out of ten. Ten. This is the, like the, I'm being Bro, you just ironic. you push-ups for your stream. Those cost money, okay? That's what people buy in fans like. What? Yeah. This is why, like, you, you really, only fans girls, like, they end up just disrespecting men so much because what? they, because you interact with so many simps. You interact with so many weak men that that becomes your fetish is just emasculating men. Like, How am I emasculating men? Just by, you think a guy just with by expensive getting stronger? Cars, you think guys with expensive cars are insecure? You have simps simping over you and you flex, you literally flex on men for money. You get paid to flex on men. Does it upset you? <laughs> your thing is, now it doesn't upset me, but this is just, it's seeing the, the marketplace right now, just how screwed up everything is. You literally flex your muscles on camera for men. And? That's what it is. Like, if you marry a feminist, <laughs> you're just going to end up arguing. Also, what the fuck is my public apology? Apology for what? Uh, what are you talking about? Do you want me to leak DMs? Leak them. Leak them? You em. say you're going to apologize in stream. For what? Jeremy says, Sneeko, this woman is convincing us all to have more children, W. Molina. For a woman that wants to be a man, you do like, you know, every, look at all the ones, Molina. Huh? For a woman that wants to be a man, you do like the girliest food available. Do I want to be a man? You do. Did I say that? You flex on men. <laughs> it's just my muscles. I'm not muscle though. You get paid to flex on men. Yeah, and I like it. I think, okay, Bro. this is what something I think. I think you're all looking for mommy. I believe that. I think everyone wants us to be submissive. Not all the time, but sometimes. And find someone that they can be vulnerable with. Submissive? How? What, what, what is just it? like submit. Argue fully. with you about? No, being like no, like you come home to a wife that you can just be a baby with. What does that look like? That they can just take care of you. So what? It feels nice to be taken care of and like fully submit yeah. and like be out of control and fully trust someone. I think you all want it really badly. <laughs> What makes, you, what makes you think that? Because I think everyone likes that. Women too, everyone. But men don't really have the courage to say a lot of that. I mean, it, ma also, it makes sense for women to want to submit because that is their, that's biological. If they submit to their man, that's how you create. That's probably more. cool, yeah. Like that. I have kids. The five. You obviously did everything. This one. Oh, <laughs> you want 
emasculating men. Like, How am I emasculating men? Just you by, think a guy just with by getting tr- same sense of humor as those, like, well, I'm not going to, oh, you want me to do something? Well, numbers don't matter. I'm gonna show me a girl, and then I can read them. I know this person, so I can't say it. I don't know the person. <sighs> well, I'm just ha- That's what? Emasculating men. Then this moment. Out of ten. Ten. This is the, like the I'm being Bro, you just ironic. Push ups for your stream. Those cost money, okay? That's what people buy on fence day. What? Yeah. This is why, like, you you really OnlyFans girls like they end up just disrespecting men so much because what? they because you interact with so many simps, you interact with so many weak men that that becomes your fetish is just emasculating men. Like, how am I emasculating men? Just by, you think a guy with expensive stronger? cars? You think guys with expensive cars are insecure? You have simps sipping over you, and you flex. You literally flex on men for money. You get paid to flex on men. Does it upset you? Your thing is now. It doesn't upset me, but this is just it's seeing the the marketplace right now, just how screwed up everything is. You literally flex your muscles on camera for men. And this is the the combative nature of of these modern feminists, man. Like you have the, the exact same sense of humor as those. Like, well, I'm not gonna. Oh, you want me to do something? Well, numbers don't matter. I'm like, show me a girl, and then I can read them. I know this person, so I can't say it. I don't know the person. <sighs> well, I'm telling you, I, I don't work that way. I can't just watch someone and see a number in their face. I don't work that way. You got to come up with something a little bit more creative. Okay. What, you, what, what would you rather we do right now? You'd rather us, like, paint some, some art? What do, what do you want us to do? Yeah. Or um, we can discuss topics. It's more fun. Arguing about the numbers is more fun than actually giving the numbers. That's what it is. Like, if you marry a feminist, <laughs> you're just going to end up arguing. Also, where women... the fuck is my public uh, apology? Apology for what? Uh, what are you talking about? Do you want me to leak DMs? Leak them. Leak them? You say you're going to apologize and stream. For what? <laughs> Jeremy says, Stigo, this woman is convincing us all to have more children, W. Molina. More children. Yes. Good. Yes. Um, yeah, you, you you like to argue to argue. And it's just... Like, no, we, we can... Imagine like, coming home after a long actually, day at work. We don't actually have to argue. You just said that you would rather argue about That's the more, numbers. Yeah, it's more fun. <laughs> yeah, it's more fun to do that. But we can have discussions, too. Okay, what do you... I, was, I think we're discussing. Okay. So what makes you think that it's fulfilling to raid people? I think it's fun. I think it's a funny thing. The chat gets to see it. You know, it's just, I think it's just fun. That's the most fun you can come up with on stream? Rating random people like over okay. and over again? What do you think? You haven't rated one person accurately the whole time. You okay. immediately disagree with it. What do you think is a, is a more fun discussion right now? Um, so what were you disagreeing on Fresh and Fit? You didn't answer my question. Yeah, I asked you about a topic to talk about. I just, I just like the vasectomy thing. I disagree with having vasectomies. Oh, and they say yeah. They say yes. We should all just not have children. Yes, that's what okay. this guy is saying. If you oh. want to become a high value man. So they're all just like bots that just follows what he's saying. They're not. You all. see the bots? Like that's what they're just listening to what he's saying. They're not thinking. Did they ever even talk about having children before this? They probably did. Who? The fresh and fit people. Yeah, they did. They, they did. They, they, they. But now they, they don't change your fully... mind because the red pill leader just changes mind. So now they're all bots is changing it. Yeah. Yeah. You so like arguing, bots. huh? You, 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 what? I'm just, just saying. Just I'm just like saying. Arguing. Okay. We can talk about Pink Floyd. Okay. Well, what do you want to talk about Pink Floyd? Because no, not one person in the chat cares about Pink Floyd. Okay. Do you care about Pink Floyd? Uh, yeah, they're cool. And so why don't you? Roger show... Waters is extremely red pilled. So is he, he? Yeah, he is. He is uh, anti-Israel. That's why he. But that's not red pill. That's just being. That's being what? Isn't he like? Wait, isn't he an extremely left person? No. He's right leaning. I'd say he. Like, I don't he, think he uh, is. He seems like a conservative. Yeah. I think he's just anti-America. Yeah. He's anti the government. Chat type of one of this conversation Those is more mean... boring than us rating the people that I had planned. Wait, what did Let's you see. expect? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. You need help. I ordered three rolls. I got a salmon roll, a Philadelphia roll. Cool. I don't know what you wanted. <laughs> First.
for a woman that wants to be a man, you do like you know, every look at all the ones we have. Huh? For a woman that wants to be a man, you do like the girliest food available. Do I be a man? You do. Did I say that? You flex on men. <laughs> You get paid to flex on men. Yeah, I mean, look it. I think, okay, this Bro. is what, something I think. I think you're all looking for mommies. I believe that. I think everyone wants to be submissive, not all the time, but sometimes, and find someone that they can be vulnerable with. Submissive, how? What, what, what is Just it? Just like submit Argue fully. with you about. No, being, like, like, no. Like, you come home to a wife that you can just be a baby with. What does that look like? That they can just take care of you. So what is, It feels nice to be taken care of and like fully submit and like be out of control and fully trust someone. I think you all want it really badly. What, makes you, what makes you think that? Because I mean, everyone likes that. Women too, everyone. But men don't really have the courage to say a lot of that. I mean, it, ma it makes sense for women to want to submit because that is... Yeah, exactly. Right. So why can't you just talk about that? Would it just 
do you know what's a better use of my time than sitting here talking about it and getting whiny and angry with Frankie and just sitting down and crying? Like, it's it's getting something done. It's not like you're being Okay, quiet. if I feel like I need to hold my poop in, but I should really get something done, what's going to hold it in instead? Especially what you're saying. This is like emotional things that we all just have. Like, this is just how people are. You gotta let it out sometimes, and it feels nice to talk to someone that you're close to. Right. It feels I'm, good. I'm, I'm, my point is, a better use of my time is getting some work done. Doing something fun that I'm gonna enjoy, and not sitting. Like, life I'm not is not just home. fun all the time. It's not what life is. But also, ideally, it, it is. Feels, it feels ideally, your life is happy. It Thanks feels, for the time. It feels like you're not fulfilled. Right. If, you, if you operate just on your feelings as a band, you're gonna fall off. You Thank you for the time to eat track. Y'all have one. Of those. See, my brother, this woman shows you exactly why track out mindsets yeah. don't work. You build yourself from nothing into a top one percent man. She comes into your home and openly tries to disrespect you. Am I? I don't think you're you openly trying. Uh, trannies commit the most suicide and talk the most about feelings. <laughs> they do. They do have the highest suicide rate of any group, and they are the most like in touch with their feelings. Like you definitely support trans people and haven't heard you talk about it. A hundred percent, you think trans people are real. Damn. Damn. Yeah. 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 Oh, this is a headache. This is a headache. Wait, me? Yeah. You're, oh, you're a headache. Okay, what do you like to do for fun? I know you think that like Oh, I do fun. so many things. Oh. Um, the gym. I paint. I like music. I like conversation. I like fucking. I like streaming. I like vlogging. I like traveling. I like swimming a lot. I like skiing. Um, what else do I like? I like drugs. Um, I like food a lot. It's nice. I like history a lot. Um, I like geography. I like languages. I like cultures a lot. It's interesting. I like all of it. What do you like? A lot. Oh, yeah, that's what you like. Okay, tell me about a lot. Sometimes I wonder if I should not eat soy sauce because it can make me more soy. I got regret drinking that stuff. Guys, Chad doesn't have to worry. I'm already married, so I'm not gonna go after you guys. Okay, it's alright. Someone mean? already caught me. Are you worried? They're so scared of me. I didn't understand your accent. Drew Comics with five two questions. She already says she likes history and culture. When did World War II start and what is the capital of Indonesia? <laughs> You're just gonna do a geography stuff Should we do like the map that that one's about the very what is it called? Drew Comics, okay. you already see that she avoids specific topics and questions, so I don't know if she can answer your question. Really? See? What's the capital of Indonesia and when did World War II? I wanna see if you can do it. World War II started September 1st, 1939, when Germany invaded Poland. And the capital of Indonesia is Bali. Are you reading from chat? No. <laughs> Where is on the chat? You see that chat? Did you see that? And just avoid it, and then... No, we can, we can do questions like that if you want. You want to do that? You, I... <laughs> if you want to do it, you can do that. Uh, Melina, life is not about fun. I heard you say it's about fun. I made podcasts about responsibility and fulfilling your highest purpose, no matter how difficult. Yeah, but I don't... I don't think it's not about fun, it's also like about crying and feeling and treating emotions That's like That's fun too, it's like a way of being. Do you not like poop, even though it's gross? The thing is, poop doesn't go anywhere. Poop has to get out. Emotions can leave. No, Thanks they the can't do it to me, it was all at work. One of the deficiencies of women, one of the deficiencies of women is not being able to speak about their deficiencies, how it's cured. Okay. But can we, let's, just, let's, just finish, let, let's just finish the ratings, because I'm, I'm upset now that I, I did this thing. What would you rate the top age? Hitler. Zero. Speaking of World War II, zero out of ten? Mm. What about the stash? No. Okay. No. Andrew Tate, zero. four through ten. Zero. 
You don't like, uh... He looks like poop. He looks like poop? Yeah. Is that what you're... He looks like, he looks like he's about to poop. What about the... He's, a, he's pretty jacked. He's a shape. Yeah. You don't like pose? He's a point. Okay, so what I about... I don't like how he holds himself up. I don't like his energy. I don't like the way he appears to me. There's been no consistency with anything you're talking about. Oh, that's fine. But it's because we're doing some stupid shit right now, so... And you're making it stupider. Yeah, that's the point. What would you rate Alex Jones? He is cute. Look at him. He is cute, isn't he? Look, he's a little spaceship. He looks very happy. He's a, he's a five. Five at a time? He's a five, yeah. How could he get, uh, how could Alex Jones get no, some actually, points? No, actually, he's a nine. That's about it. From five to nine? Yeah. He's a, yeah. I just realized how many times I've, like, listened to him talk about his men's sanction, how much it's been entertaining me while I've been on long roads traveling. And it's been, uh, good memories. Yeah, he's a nine. I don't know who that is. Is he holding up. paint? He's holding happy oh. dad boxes. This is, is that just a random dude? No, it's my, my friend Steve. He's like the most random dude I've ever seen. <laughs> so, okay, you can rate him physically. What would you rate him? How does he appear? I smile. I give him a nine. Nine? Yeah. Steve will do against a nine. He's like, in my in, in another dimension, I wouldn't marry that guy. Just have a normal life. Like, you would marry Steve will do it? No, he's just a random dude to me. So, I'm thinking, like, in another world, I would have just been a random wife to a random, random guy that holds paint. Okay, what would you say now? <clears throat> oh. They're all way too happy with Trump. Not that I would. I would probably smile, too, if I was with Trump. You smile with Alex Jones. Yeah, exactly. You got me. Well, I already rated him. Five. No, you said nine. Oh. No, I said five. <laughs> okay. No, you didn't. But five. No, I said five. You definitely I'm so sure I said five. I said nine. Maybe it's just me. Sorry. What about this guy? Myron. This Sudanese guy. I know this guy, too. You're picking people that I should, you should pick random people. That's so much more fun than people that I already know. Even when I picked random people, you still said nothing. Myron is actually kind of attractive. What would you rate him at a time? He's not stupid, but he has the wrong opinions. That's the thing. That's how I feel about him. Yeah, I want to hang out with him, though. Okay, but what would you rate him out of time? He's a four. Four. My okay. four. Nick Coe says, why did she rate the white guys high and the black ones low and said they look like poo? You said Andrew Tate looked like poo. He gave Fresh a zero. You gave Gian a zero. Andrew Tate is black? He gave Aiden... What? Andrew Tate is black? Andrew Tate's black. Okay, I don't see color, okay? Okay, well, you definitely saw a bunch of poop and zeros when you saw the black men. <laughs> I said it looks like he's about to oh because God. he's tensing up so hard for that camera to prove to everyone that First he's wrong. He looks like poop. Because he has oh so much God. insecurities, That's okay? Crazy. That's, That's what I said. For it looks like he's about to poop. You're pretty red pill for a feminist because Am I? your racism charts are higher than mine. Okay. W racism. That's good. No, it's cool. It's cool. You think I'm a racist? Oh, 100%. 100% a racist? Oh, yeah, yeah, you are. You are. You, you got this. I mean, like, didn't the Nazis occupy Sweden, too? 
Sweden was on. Was on we were like we were neutral. Yeah, neutral was like, eh, we're not going to get a ball, but we like, keep like, going, but we, stop, we, we keep would, going. We would be hiding people, but we would also let Nazis go through Sweden to bomb. Right. You were you were like oh we're neutral. Yeah, yeah, we're you neutral. let this shit happen. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Cash. Wait. Honest question for her. Did she think that she was, was I born back then? I don't think I was. In World War Two. <laughs> what, what are you saying? You let this shit happen. I wasn't there. I'm, I'm aware. Of Ages of the guys. About your, okay. Honest question for her. Did she think that she would be as successful as she is on Twitch if she didn't wear scantily scanty clothes on her streams? Uh, probably not. But I'm not that skinless. I haven't done hot tub streams with a little hot tub in the background and like the bikini on me sitting in a chair with my desk. I haven't done that. So if I wanted to be more successful, I could have probably, but I didn't for a reason. What's the reason? Uh, I just like to dress like a slut, and I have been since high school. Hot tub is pretty slutty. Yeah, but I don't do that. I don't like it. What wouldn't you like about hot tubs? You don't like hot tubs? Not on stream. Every day. Why would I do that? That's not fun. Gustavo's Do I look like a slut right now? No. No wonder male suicide is through the roof. I can see why. Uh, why, why do you like dressing like a, like a slut? Uh, because I, like, oh, I like the way it looks. Sometimes. Sometimes. Do you if like... you find high school pictures of me, you will find the same kind of clothes. Bruh. Okay, do you like the attention that you get from it, or do you like dressing like that? Uh, I like dressing that way. I think it looks cute. Chess, you already ready, ready next. You gave him time. We're in here late. What is the yes? Okay, what is the yes to? Um, what do you think yes to? There's a little bit of a delay. Oh. Um, I don't even remember what else I guess to. <laughs> so that's it. Okay, so your race is basically, you gave Myron a four, Steve a nine. I know you forgot. Alex nine. Jones a five. No. You gave Andrew yeah. Tate a zero, a poop out of ten for some reason. <laughs> he looks like he's about to poop. Okay. I look like that when I'm about to poop. I tend to my mom. Oh, my God. Yeah. This is what... This is what, you this is what it looks like when I poop, yeah. This is what you guys like. Yeah, because you like this. This is the picture you picked. Okay. Yeah. You gave him a what again? Zero. Zero. We know his race. I said bring This one was the hardest one you like. He, it was a 10. He's a 10? This was hard for you to, like, it was hard for you to keep my, okay, why is to get my honest answer. Why is he a 10? Because we want no humanity anymore. That's the face. Do you not think about the environment? I believe that the environment should be better. And all humans should die. Seriously? Are you like one of those climate change people? You want kids? No, I want kids. What are you talking about? I don't know. I don't understand. So do you want humanity to die? Or like ironically or unironically? What do you think? I don't know. I'm asking you. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know your stance on anything. Yeah. You have flip flops so much. I don't know what you I'm think. Flip you're not ask you're not asking me serious questions about things that are interesting. Okay. Do you want to have children? Mm -hmm. Do you think that the climate change pandemic going on should prevent people from wanting to have kids? No, I want kids because I don't want to have zero. You gave Osama a uh, what? Meme. <laughs> Meme out of ten. Leia, you... She's a nine. She's a nine. Yeah. Is she the type of woman that you... You're bisexual, right? Yeah. You like these types of... Um, I like... Usually redheads for some reason. They like their own. Okay. Pooing on a horse? No, dolphins. I'm going to get a zero. Because he's, he's saying mean things. I don't like him. What does Freddy just say that to me? He said that the girl was cutting herself so you don't ever take your pain seriously. It's pretty fucked up. Do you not see that? Like, why would you listen to someone doing that? Hmm? Why would, would you listen to someone doing that? Like, why would you take someone... Why would you say that straight up to someone that's sitting next to you and say they don't do something? <laughs> like, this is disrespectful and shitty. I mean, if you have strong opinions about something and you're unhappy with your life to the point where you're cutting yourself for attention. It's like, these are your opinions. For right attention? Now. You think that's not a reason? People cut themselves? Yeah. It's the main part. I don't think that necessarily has to be the case. I think um, removing your physical pain, or no, you're removing your 
pain mentally can sometimes be transferred into physical pain if you cut yourself. So that's the reason that people do it. HJ says 20, lost cause. Thank you for the 20. What do you, what do you think about like, when you get, you've definitely seen people react to what you say. Like, what's your opinion on that? Well, uh, you're saying you're a lost cause. Like you're, you're so, he's basically saying you're so indoctrinated by feminism and wokeism that there's He's no a problem. random person on the internet that's saying I'm here wasting your time. So why would I listen to his opinion? Assuming you call it this year. So you don't, okay, what about? The internet hate doesn't matter. I don't, I don't even know if you could consider that hate. He's, he's talking about, like, making you make sense. You know, when it comes to God and the world and having a clear view on life and everything. And Why would he want to force it? He didn't want to force it on someone. But he said that there's no point I think Islam is the only religion that makes sense. I think, well, first, before you even consider religion, I think it's extremely important to have a value system that would lead you on the right path towards approaching the world. Uh, especially right now, with the amount of brainwashing going on, everybody's supposed to be here. Consistently go pray if you don't believe it. It's like the prayer isn't accepted by or who say that we're all equal as humans. We're all okay. we're all equal because uh, suspend your disbelief because you can't see God. And the one that makes the most sense to me and why I would recommend it for you is that there must be one creator. The world must have been created by something, and we can't conceptualize what it is. And Islam doesn't try to. We just worship the creator because we are happy that he created everything. What about Buddhism? Uh, they believe in like reincarnation and stuff. And they believe that God has been in us and everywhere, and that the whole universe is just a God, and we're including you there, right? Do you think that could be the case too? Have you read about the other? I religions? have. I've read about Buddhism. I grew up Catholic. I read about Hinduism. So why Buddhism. Islam? Because Islam is the belief that the, there's one Creator, and He's created the whole world. 
And we, Wait, doesn't we don't Christianity like. say the exact same thing? No, Christianity believes that Jesus is also God and there's the Holy Spirit. They believe in multiple gods? I thought they believed in one God. They also believe that Jesus Christ is God. And I, that the reason that I kind of gravitated away from that is because, one, they draw, they have Jesus everywhere. I don't think that we should always, like, see images of, of the prophet. And I also don't think that a man could be God. I don't think that we should worship a man, personally. I respect Jesus, and I think he was a prophet, peace be upon him. But I don't think that you should worship a man because we're equal. We're all brothers and sisters. We're all created the same. We're all equal, you feminists? We're all equal as humans. We're all, okay. we're all equal as God's creation. Mm. And that's what, that's what Islam is. So how do you practice Islam? Like, what is, like, the, the main things here that you need to do to... Well, there's five practice? pillars. First, you say that um, I bear witness that Allah is the one true creator and Muhammad is a prophet of God. And then you start your prayer and you fast. Um, the fourth pillar, is, I, I don't remember what the fourth pillar is. And then the final one is you go and visit Mecca where that religion was created. Mm -hmm. So, so I, can do all, I can do all those things. You can't, but um, you have to believe in it. Like, you're not going to consistently go, and, oh, well, prayer is, um, you're not going to consistently go pray if you don't believe it. Like, the prayer isn't accepted by Allah if you don't believe it. Mm. Okay. So I wouldn't have to, like, change too much because I already have, like, community. Well, you would have to give up your I already have a routine. I already have, like, happiness. You would routine. have to delete your OnlyFans. Why? I don't even have an OnlyFans, actually. Same thing. Is it? That's exactly the same thing. What? But I'm posting, in, like, change too much because I already have, like, Community. Well, you would have to go I your already have a routine. I already have like happiness. You would routine. have to delete your OnlyFans. Why? I don't even have an OnlyFans actually. Same thing. Is it? That's exactly the same thing. What? But I'm posting Instagram pictures on my fans thing and flexing videos. What is the difference between Instagram and fans thing? If I post exact same stuff. Well, I, I would suggest that you would delete scantily clad photos off your Instagram too. If you, if you actually, I mean, you're not serious about. Why would I now. do that? For what reason? Because that should only be seen by your husband. Your husband should be the only one who's admiring your beauty. Right. Why, why would you want a lot of other men to go and admire your beauty when that's something that should be worshipped between you and your I, husband alone? Because I like to be open and I like to just show myself to the world. It's fun. Right, but we don't operate just based off fun. We have to operate based on what's better for the world and what God wants us to so do. So the world can't handle my my skin, is that what you're saying? No, the, the world can't handle Wait, that. Wait, what? The are, world can't handle it? The world can't handle it because men are visual creatures. And right now, all the guys that sign up for your OnlyFans are, are upset. That sounds weak to me. It is what it is. That, that you, you are profiting it is off, what it is. You're profiting off of weak men. Mm. You're, not, you're not helping these men. You talk about like how the male suicide rate is higher. One in three men are virgins. So you're thinking that just because women are naked online, people commit suicide? That's not the only reason. There's a, there's a lot of reasons, but that's... So what is, like, the... What is the negative aspect? My point is that that's making them weaker. You are... Fle you just told me that you f you get paid to flex on men. They are unhappy after that. After they jerk off, they I feel pathetic. That. Because that's a pathetic thing to do. They're submitting to a random girl online who thinks that they're pathetic. Wait, why you wouldn't that be fun? I would submit to a random girl online that is, like, dummy mommy. I would do that 100%. It would be really fun for me. I think I have also. It's fun. It's just, it's just fun. Like, going gambling is fun, right, isn't it? But sometimes it might not be the best for you. That's true. But it doesn't mean that you should ban all of it. There's probably going to be something else that you would get. Of course, you don't ban all of it. Everybody sins. But we should set up rules to where that's not, where that's something that it's frowned upon. Where that's, it's, you're shamed if you do that. Now you're encouraged. You're called a girl boss if you have an OnlyFans at 18. And you're shamed if you get married. Why isn't it just better to, like, grow up in a society where people don't sexualize naked bodies so much? I feel like that's a better thing. Like, I you, you said you like dressing up as a slut. You're getting paid so that men can see your body half naked. By nature, you know that when you're I, sexualizing when I When I show a lot of skin, I'm not always sexual. When I'm acting sexual, I'm acting sexual. Right, but you 100% understand, and like, you even understand you wouldn't be successful on Twitch if you weren't dressing that way. Yeah, that's that, probably true, but that's also... What, it, it doesn't matter how you think of it, and this is the reason why women should only cover up for their husband, is because men are victims of... Well, I wouldn't say victims, but we do fall victim to our lust. Seeing other women, we're visual creatures. If we see women scantily clad, sometimes it, it's ha it's harder for us to control ourselves. So when women cover up and they only reveal themselves That's that way... That's why you should just practice your brain. Because I come from a society where this isn't that hard. I've come from Sweden, where we're all skin and naked on midsummer with families and kids and women and men and all sorts of people. And everyone just chills. There's nothing weird about it. I come from that society because we grew up that way. I think it's absolutely 100% fully... 
a thing that we could change our minds, like the entire world, and you not. You think the entire cut. world should start sexualizing think, themselves? Yeah, I think if you keep covering up, I think people keep sexualizing because we always want to see what we can't see. We always want the tease, right? But I think if you see, if you show the entire thing and everyone knows what everyone looks so you, like, so you think you should walk around naked? I don't think that's. Uh, wait, do you think that th that's the extreme that you're gonna give? Well, you, you, you're saying that we should uncover. So how? No, what I level of skin is, is is okay to you? I think that you can. It's, a, it's an actual question. Like, what I level of skin is, is okay to walk around? In? Walk around in? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know about walking around in, but I think. And, like, you're not answering be... a simple question. Like, how much skin should you be able to show in public? Um, probably covering up like your private parts. So, so how like much? Like your vagina, your penis, maybe. So you should have your titties walking around in public? I don't think that's really an issue, no. I don't think really kids have a problem with it either. I don't personally don't because they fucking sip on those when they're kids. It's not like anything happens to them. I think that in parks you should be able to be you topless. Think, okay. Yeah, I, I don't have a really a problem. What about the street right here? There's a lot of restaurants and bars outside. There's kids walking around too. Do you think that you should walk around with your, your breasts exposed to these kids? Yeah, I don't think it's a problem. Okay. Uh, that's where what is going to happen? Like, disagree. are they going to freak out and explode? What's going to happen? Look. We are attracted to boobs. It's it's something that should be covered. No, we're attracted because we are covering it and we're sexualizing. That's like why we're attracted to it. No, th th people th can be attracted to ears and feet too. Do we cover them up? They can be, but those are yeah. sexual by nature, by design. Breast, by design. Breast, so how, yeah, you should not be. Why showing... do people have a feet fetish? I I'm not. That's people that's, have fetishes to your face. There's a reason it's called a fetish because it's something specific to a small group of people. I don't, I just bottom line, like this is, we, I, that you want to show I'm your boobs. I'm telling you. Do you want to show your boobs to kids? I think just by being a woman, like no matter how you dress up, there's going to be people jerking off to you no matter what. I don't think a little bit of porn, a little bit of boobs is going to change anything. I think it's going to be about it's the Yes same. or no. Do you want to show your boobs to kids? Specifically as my hobby? Not really. No, no, but like in general, do you want to be able to show your boobs to kids? I think I should be able to like walk around with my boobs if I want to. Because so I'm yes, dead. you want to be able to show your boobs again. That's not what I'm saying. That's what I'm asking you. You're taking the most extreme fucking. Well, that's that's a scenario. This is my hobby. I like to go show boobs I'm calling to, it a hobby. to kids. I'm asking if you would like to have the ability to show your breasts to children. To have my boobs out in public. If so I yes, wanted to. you you would like to be able to show your boobs to kids. Do you like to do it? No, I don't. I think it's disgusting. So you ne you've never been outside swimming or anything like that around kids. Not on the street. Not in public. I feel like I see you at the gym topless and shit all the time. That's what you, isn't that what you post? Wasn't Andrew Tate literally in that picture, like, topless? Okay. Acting like... Isn't the, the, abs, like, sexy? Like, damn, like, I'm going to explode because I can't control my brain because of how sexy that is. Like, what do you mean? Like, are kids going to say the same thing? I don't think boo is going to harm anyone, really. I don't personally think so. And I think if you grew up in a society where you're not, like, sexualizing skin that much... That's what they do in Sweden? They walk around with their breasts exposed to children? No, but, like, you can, you can be at a public park, like, bathe, like in a... Uh, what do you call it? Sunbathing. Like, you can easily do that because it, like, it makes sense. Like, walking around naked and, like, doing weird sexual things to people is not really okay. But, like, I think you should be able to, like... It's just chill. Like, <laughs> I think in a world you can absolutely do that. So you, I it, think it's, it's all chill. the mentality, yeah. Okay, so simple statement. It's chill to be able to show your breasts to children. Yeah, yeah. sure. I don't yes. Um, Sweden has a 50% divorce rate, great place to raise a family. I mean, so does America. What if, yeah, but America could be a cool, like a country full of LMAO, she's that's abusive. Pretend that Sweden is full of over-sexualized women. That's a time and sure it's one of the most well-functioned society in the world. It's not a way type country, Sweden. Yeah, is that, like, you're, you're making uh, Sweden look like a, a hippie festival from 1960. I promise you, we're, so, we're sexualizing so, like, less like, than any other world I've ever, or country I've ever been in. You're sexualized less? Yeah. So do women walk around on the streets with their boobs out or no? Uh, sometimes, sure. Or like you go to a park and it's summer and people like, baby, you know, something. Okay. Yeah, that happens. On the streets? Yeah, like in parks and stuff. Like, like on the streets. Do you see women walking around with their boobs out on the streets? Yeah, you can look at it. Okay. Uh, Mel, um, Melina, what did you think about how religious Americans are compared to atheists in Sweden? How religious they are? I think America is a lot more religious.
who God like you're supposed to be. on people, causing problems, arguing for no you reason. You don't like the cane cheese? Okay. I've seen like, you're talking. Well, he has to hear it. Yeah, you hang, out, you hang out with your car all the time. Can I ask you like a, a first question? What, what, do, what does he think about like the concept you made? Oh, he didn't mention it. He's just like, as long as you're happy, you're saying you're happy. And you're happy. I'm making a lot of money. Like, I'm probably buying him a fucking country house. I'm just doing whatever the fuck. I'm doing a lot of different stuff. Alright? Sweden, is this like really common in Sweden? Yes. I'm from a completely different world. I'm telling you. <laughs> He's just, he doesn't understand you guys who want to force uh, other beliefs and like how to live your life to other people. I'm not trying to force anybody anymore. Right? Yeah. So, so what, what are you talking about? No, there's other people, right? Like the desire of the temple properly is trying to make everyone follow a certain path, right? And he doesn't understand that. He thinks it's insane. What about when your kids see your only parents? Um, I don't have an only parent. My pictures? Um, I don't think this is going to be much of a big deal. It's probably going to be really normalized by then. And also, I don't think that the pictures are super insane or anything like that. I don't think they're interesting. If, if my parents had only friends, I wouldn't give a shit. I would give more of a shit as people judging and the people that are bullying other people for it are making it weird. That's a lot worse than like, encouraging them to live their life. I would encourage my my kids to live their life however they want to live it. Just like my parents did for me. It's great. I feel bad for people that have parents that are forcing them to live their, like, their life in a certain way. Sometimes I'm like, Chad really wants me to engage in debates, but like, I kind of relate to like guys saying like, like lost cause. That there's like a certain level like of feminism and uh, of this woke stuff where it's like they they just they want you to keep arguing because they enjoy the back and forth. They, you you like arguing really bad, so it's like, is it really worth me trying to convince you that you shouldn't show your breasts to children? Um, if you think that way, it's like I, I'm not gonna go and red pill her about showing. I don't think that boobs are really that harmful to people. I don't believe that for a second. I think there's a lot more other things that you care about that can be harmful to people. There's a lot of other things that, that we do care about. Um, but yeah, showing sex with children is one of them. Okay, you seem like a very accepting person, and maybe you'll enjoy this more than random people. I found a homophobia test. I want to see how homophobic you are. So basically, before, you, before we start, Melina, are you... A LGBT or are you one of them? What do you mean? Like if I if I'm with women? Yeah, like I, I, you get it. Yeah, I've been with women. I actually get the first women too. So. Which one? No, no, nothing. We all heard what you said. <coughs> I know. <coughs> I know it's the first one you should have. So. Which one? 
Nothing. We all heard what you said. Remember when I ran into you right in front of me? Yeah. And then I said I was going to be someone I did okay? Uh. Don't tell me the name, I'm not going to say. Yeah, thanks. So. I think it's funny, yeah. No, I don't remember. Okay, keep going. Well, keep going. Are you really going to do that sneaky thing and not say who it is? Now it's going to be so funny. No, it's funny. I'm not going to say it is. Let's take the homophobia test. <laughs> Who the fuck are you talking about? Are you okay? <laughs> Being around gay people makes you uncomfortable, does it? Being around gay people makes me uncomfortable. Yeah. No. No, completely disagree. Yeah. Okay. I dislike the thought of homosexuals working in jobs where they might serve as role models for children. Wait, what? I dislike the thought. Of Wait, so he's basically asking, do I want, like, gay people to work around children? Oh, yeah, you do. You want to show your boobs to kids and all that. Yeah, I, I don't see a problem with someone who's gay around children. Okay. Let the trannies teach your kids. I would feel comfortable having a gay roommate, either. Yeah. I could do this test for you. I know that you can do this. Yeah. Marriage between a man and a woman, I do not support same sex marriage. Do you support same sex marriage? So, you right? Yeah. yeah. Um, I discovered a friend was gay, I would consider ending the friendship. No, I wouldn't end the friendship if someone was gay. This is true, yeah. Okay. Gay people are probably responsible for some of the rape you look at. This is a good question. Wait, people are, wait, they're responsible for some... Of the rape you look at. For being gay? Or you mean people yeah. acting in a certain way? Uh, there's probably, okay, there's probably people, um, that are online that are probably doing things that's not the best communication to get people to understand them. I do believe that. So there's probably things that people do uh, from a certain side. But that legit is like every single ideology, right? Like people doing same stuff on some side that makes other people look bad. We're like the rest of the group look bad, yeah. So what does that mean? Is, it, is that what they're asking? Are gay people or is it just like gay, being gay? If it's just being gay. Are gay people responsible It's a vague question. It's not. It's not. Okay, explain to me. Gay people get made fun of. A lot of people say that the people who make fun of them are just homophobic. Let me talk if about I, if, I, if there's gay people just being made fun of because they're gay, no, that's not their fault. It's probably other people that's not very open minded or that feels very really threatened by this. That's not I think people should just okay, well, accept whatever people want to do in their lives. When gay people call around like dogs on a pride parade, but when you flex on people and, like, see how that's funny? You flexing on men is hilarious. Okay, but that's what I said earlier. Like, are there people that are doing the same stuff to represent the rest of the group? Yes. And there's probably things that's not very related. Yes. Yeah, so so there's, are, are they so are there's there? probably some hate that they're getting that's like pretty like, oh yeah, I get it. Like, okay, so probably yeah. people. All right, so, so like I understand okay. like, so yeah, so I understand like if there's people that are doing like some BDS and like sex at price rates, it's probably not the best thing to do. Okay, so soft. I have criticized people to their face for being gay. <laughs> no. no I have not yeah, criticized yeah, yeah. gay people uh, for yeah, being yeah. gay. I've never done that. Uh, I have mocked manly women and or girly men with derogatory sexual slurs. Hell yes, you have. 100%. Have I? You've been paid. 100% you've been paid to do this. You've had guys, to, like, you put like, oh, yeah, I'm your mommy. You get guys who, like, pay money so that you could go and call them a piece of shit. We're talking about gay people. Would, no, that's not the question. I have mocked men. Mocked manly or girly with a... Oh, okay, sorry. I did not mean to Because you're a professional of this. You really got to think about this one? Like, if I've mocked people for being girly or manly? Uh... Half... Half... What is it? Half degree? Okay. You're not even being honest right now. Have you seen me do it? I've three times this week. Half people? Like, like three or four times. No, I don't even think it's very far. Okay, I'll put a soft book in the chat. No, actually, no, I, maybe I'll do it. Really? 
being really ridiculous and saying a bunch of stupid shit, I'm probably going to like say that they're being stupid. But someone is like, it's so important to be masculine, I'd be like, okay, this is fucking pathetic. Like, I would probably just say that. But it's not because they're girly or manly. If there's someone just being girly, that's just like, who they are, I wouldn't mock them for it. They can be whoever they want to be. But if there's someone that's kind of like, acting insecure about it, yeah, so, I, yeah. Don't deny, I want you to Oh. Uh, yeah, you don't. Like me flexing is not. Okay, it's not so no. In the middle, though. Hmm? You don't use derogatory. You don't call dudes like little bitches and shit. Wait, did you wait? Did you go back and change the answer? No, just, just answer two. Yeah. Why? Because I put um, like green instead of just green. Oh, okay. Just break. Okay. Has not manly. Wait. Okay, but yeah, because it's in the middle, right? Because it is. No, actually, no, I disagree. I haven't done that. Yeah, no. Like, uh, I was on the Dutch Pot broadcast yesterday, and there was a guy that was talking about how important it is to be high value man or whatever, and I kind of showed his value for me, so I kind of just made fun of him that way. If they're saying, like, I want to have a woman that has no experience at all and is really, really young, I kind of just make fun of them saying that they're a pedophile because they basically want to have a child. Is that mocking? Like, is that a great? Or... But it's because they're asking. You said so many things that I completely disagree with, and I just, I don't even feel like, so I, like I, just, I just don't even feel like arguing, I have no point. That's okay.
did not want to fuck the other Viking and female in battle. They wanted the woman with the cupcake back in No, they did not want that's that. That's just the Vikings. Not, no, that's, that's not what I'm Of course not. So what the, the Vikings were known for violently like going to villages and pillaging. Yeah, and they were the fucking out of the song. Yeah, they were. But wait, do you know? Like, that there's there's theory that these women that they were bringing with them were like the <laughs> There's a theory about that. I'm not sure how true that is. Cause my dad tells me this, but uh, well, my point is is that I think if you want to have a woman that is completely inexperienced, shy, and submissive, I think you want to have a child. Basically, try to child behavior. Okay, like you found a way to shame the standards that I want. So you want. Well, what is it? It's like what Look, are the kind of women? Everybody for? that's watching my stream and me and a lot of men like me who think this way, people who are religious, conservative people, we value purity in women. Equate that to pedophilia. Fine. Purity is literally fine. just no experience. It means a child. Fine. You found a way to shame it and shame our standards, but how is it not a child? How is it not some like they're they're no experience? A grown woman. It's a they're grown. not. They're grown women. <laughs> so why not a thirty-year-old with experience? Because it's I don't want to deal with a whole bunch of man's baggage. I don't care about experience. Maturity and experience don't go hand in hand. Maturity. Everyone has died. Everyone has been trauma. Everyone has been through this stuff. Okay. People would rather not get in a relationship with a traumatized woman with a bunch of bodies. It's, it's, not, like a, it's not like every single 30 year old has been traumatized. It's probably some of them. You just, said, you just said everyone's traumatized, and now you're saying not everyone's because traumatized. Because if a bunch of men that they've dated, like through their 20s yes. or their 30s, yes. are going to get traumatized, you think every single relationship that they've ever had has been traumatized? But they become experienced and they have different expectations. They lose Do you their think purity. it's the same thing with like a man that's dating multiple women? Do you think they're all going to be traumatized? No. Why? No, what is the difference? Men can understand, and men don't lose their value after they get older. When women get older, you lose their your chances of fertility, you lose your beauty. Men at 35 are in a much better state value-wise than a woman at 35. A woman's be value is probably like 18 to 24. It's just because you value physical purity, that's what they do. And, that's that's what, what, and that's child what by men, looking women, that's what you're just like, that's what you guys are looking for. I understand, like, you're, like I understand you're hoping by equating purity to pedophilia, but this is what men have always valued throughout history. It's not even pedophilia. Okay, so, so men throughout history are pedophiles. So men throughout history are pedophiles. I think men that are looking for women that have nothing to say and have absolutely no thoughts about being and no experience are just being... Well, why would I want you to have a bunch of opinions and thoughts? I'm getting a headache screaming with you. I don't care about your opinions. I don't care. I genuinely, I'm arguing right now because it's good like for content, but I would never want to come home after a long day of work and have to argue with a traumatized woman with a bunch of bodies. That so, sounds terrible. Do you feel traumatized right now talking to me? I am losing my hair talking to you. I'm falling right now. I'd rather talk to you. You're losing your purity right now. I'd rather lose a 19 year old, lose a 19 year old girl who's happy to see me. Shut the fuck up. Who I take her out to dinner and she's extremely excited. No, I'm not gonna tell her to shut up because she's smiling and she's happy and she's dancing to the music. She's already quiet. Wow, I like this. And then we're, we're making jokes about something like about you know what she's learning in school or something like that. But it's nothing that serious. That sounds way more common. Why would I want to go Where after a long day of work? Learning in school doesn't that sound like a fucking twelve-year-old? It fucking does. It doesn't even need to okay. sound. Okay. Oh, fine. Oh. Fine. You're, you're not. That's not gonna work. Out. That's if you're the one that was like, you're picking up a fucking school bus. Like that's what it sounds like to me when you talk to me. Okay. It sounds like a child. I genuinely like don't care how you think about my sexual preferences. Just you like how. Me? Just oh, hold on. Just like how you think that yeah, people are homophobic or transphobic if they don't. I don't, it doesn't matter what you think about my stance. That, that's how most people get people to come to their side through these shaming tactics, calling men pedophiles for, for value and purity. Fine, but you, there's no chance that you actually think I'm a pedophile. The reason you're saying that, you probably, I mean, you definitely have a high body count. You just said that. A, a pedophile life is a little weird. It's like just crazy to like want to have a child. But it's so I'm, you're saying I'm pedophile life? I don't actually, I don't think that you like me. Okay, that's fine. I don't think you like her. That's I don't think fine. You like it. I don't believe it. Do you think the alternative is arguing with you? Like, what? I'm not your girlfriend. I know, but you think a woman like that, a relationship where I'm arguing with an experienced girl with no, a bunch of bodies. No, you can find someone. You can find someone. That's the alternative? You can find someone who's eight years older but has no experience or has the same opinions as you. But I would rather so guarantee you want fertility. To, so what, say if you want to sound the same thing, you want to find someone that's absolutely vicious, absolutely full of blank and conforming to them. Exactly. Like exactly. Doesn't that sound really like a baby? Like no. just like just like the dad is like, hey, here you go, and they like become a dad. It sounds like you're stealing someone's 
also being with other people in the same place, we can be like similar things, we can have a similar experience, we can argue about things, we can be thinking on my own. And I have several are jobs. You being arguing because I one travel one. the world, bro. I lived in a van for six months, like traveling around and like meeting people and have fun. Yeah, okay. I didn't get out of high school. I mean, I'm getting kind of personal now, but like his first relationship, his wife was pretty much the same age as him, right? Same age as him? Yeah. Yeah. And then he leaves that and then finds a woman I, 13 years he younger. In the custody. <gasps> like you, you guys, you, you just yeah. you say that red pill relationships or traditional relationships are so terrible. Maybe he's lying. Well, yeah. also, well, you all, you too, because you just, I mean, you exist in a traditional relationship by Am some I metric. Think? Yes, you are much younger than your husband while shaming men for wanting youth and fertility. Do you think our relationship? No, not at all, but yeah. based on the age and based on the experience, different 100%. So that makes that just because that exists, that it's similar to the stereotypes we have that we're it's, it's very hypocritical. It has to be that case. No, it's, it's very hypocritical that you have a strong sense of, like, it's pedophile, like, while also being in that same did marriage. Hear, did you hear what I said? What? What, you, what did I say? You said that inexperienced women are childish. Also pretty childish, if you think about it, taking drugs. Wanting to have fun all the time. That's what no, I did in high well, school. What I'm saying is <laughs> like you're wanted to fuck casually all the time. That was what I did in high school and college. If you're looking for women that have certain that is a certain that's young, that is nineteen or eighteen or really young, that is really experienced or anything, that's what you're looking for, that's what you're attracted to, I think you're attracted to a child like woman. Okay. So you are in that relationship. Yeah, but he's I said this before. He's different the because reason, he likes arguing with you. He's because there's so much more to relationships. Of course, there, of course there are, but that will get you through the door, just like it got you through the door in that relationship. Thanks for the five. Uh, the child was just, isn't child like taking drugs, smashing lots of people normally? That's something a lot of younger people do and stop realizing those people know that was me. Wait, you're saying, when I'm saying childlike, I'm being yeah, inexperienced and shy and doesn't have anything and to also say. And also, acting based off your want. impulses and straight up dopamine. When I was in high school and college, I was taking lots of drugs and having lots of casual sex. It was stupid and I was, wasn't thinking long term. Pretty childish of me to not, to not think uh, past that. I just said, Lilita has no actual position. She contradicts herself every other sentence. She is mentally unable to put herself in other shoes. If you don't agree with her, then you think wrong. That's not good. Uh, you're, you're really good at arguing, though. Like, if, if, if you, well, it doesn't mean you, like, you actually have positions or you're, like, getting to the truth, but you, you are <laughs> trained in arguing. <laughs> like, truth is on the truth. Yeah. No. Um, no, okay. Actually, that's a lot. We're just talking about the issue. I don't know if you want to say it. She was a no. fan and left her boyfriend for that sentence. It's always actually not worth the women. Um, would you rather experience something new with someone you see that has no actual position, she contradicts herself every other sentence, she is mentally unable to put herself in other shoes, if you don't agree with her and you think wrong, that's not good. Um, you're really good at arguing them. Well, like, okay. if, if, if you, well, it doesn't mean you like you actually have positions or you're like getting to the truth, but you, you are <laughs> trained in arguing. Like, truth is on the truth. Yeah. No. Um, no, okay. Actually, that's about wrong. I'm um, You're really good at arguing, though. Like, okay. if, if you, well, it doesn't mean you like you actually have positions or you're like getting to the truth, but you you are <laughs> trained in arguing. No, like, it's just on the truth. Yeah. No. Um, no,
The civilian government doesn't control anything. The people, like, for example, why the how, fuck did all the monarchies fail? Uh, well, they, well, all the monarchies were overthrown by populists. The monarchies were destroyed by technology. Didn't our democratic republic start in like 1776? That was kind of before a lot of technology, right? No, no, no way. Guns and uh, gunpowder. 
gunpowder and the Okay, well, press. we're not getting rid of guns and gunpowder in the printing press, so... I know, but the point being is, like, I don't think monarchies fail because they were bad. I think monarchies fail because of the disruption which was caused by technology. So how would we maintain a how would we maintain a monarchy now? That's an that's an open ended question. You we would probably need to use technology to, to ensure the monarchy. Like nineteen eighty four. Like nineteen eighty four? Yeah. Not quite, but Wait, can you explain like how the whole world would look like and the way you want it? Maybe. Yeah. I would love everything were the way I wanted to, you'd have every country be a Catholic. Wait, actually, I'm curious about this. What? Does the king answer to the Vatican? Uh, yeah. Totally. Damn. He would have to. So it'd be like a one-world government. Uh, not quite, because the, the king would have sovereignty. Yeah, but he ultimately answered the Pope, But no? the Vatican's not an earthly kingdom. It's a heavenly. It's a the Pope is very heavenly. much on Earth, though. He's an yeah. earthly dude. Yeah, but he, but he talks about moral things, not affairs. Of sure, but, like, the Pope could start making... They talk about moral things now because the Catholic Church has no power. Yeah. But in the medieval times, the Catholic Church had quite a bit of power. Yeah, that's true. Wouldn't it arguably go back to that? So that you'd have the Catholic Church be like a big playmaker and resolving disputes between countries or yeah, maybe dictating maybe it would policy. Resolve, but it wouldn't have sovereignty over your okay. it, would, it wouldn't have influence. Doesn't God literally have sovereignty over your soul? I feel like the Pope would have a pretty big claim to Sure, but that's but you know, render under Caesar what is Caesar's and will render unto Caesar because that was given to the Roman government that wasn't Christian. Here, every government would be Christian, right? Yeah, but it means that, like, the administrative things would belong to the government and the spiritual matters would belong to the Pope. So but in a, but in, a, in a theocratic monarchy, the administrative and the faith become one. I'm not, I'm not saying a theocracy. I'm saying a king who is Catholic. Okay. I don't think there's much of a difference there, but... There is. There is. That's how it should be. The system's terrible. Yeah. Yeah. You're from Sweden? Yeah. Yeah, see, Sweden's terrible. <laughs> They've got a king. Yeah, but he doesn't do anything. Yeah, no kings do anything. Yeah, not anymore. He's a what? He's a machine. Oh, yeah, he is. For sure. Why did you leave Sweden? This guy? Uh, oh. That was cute. Yeah. Sweden was captured. She's captured. She's a slave here for... <laughs> Until like, middle of next year. Oh, <laughs> Destiny's concubine. Bro. She's a slave here for until like, the middle of next year. Uh, uh, yeah. She's concubine. Bro. Uh, so you're not married? No. Not yet. Calm in the cell. So wait, do you want to have kids? Do you think you want to have kids? Do you also hate people? How well, I, I do hate you? women, but uh, but I'm you know I'm not like other people. I'm like an eccentric genius. Where are you going to get kids if you don't have kids? I'm going to have to just tolerate a woman. It's a rough one. Sleep in separate beds, probably. Big 
house. You know they say that if like your 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 hair genetics come from your mother's mom. I've heard that. So oh, so like you just don't want like balding. That's right. Yeah, and uh, you know, and she's got to be hot. She's got to be not bothering me and nagging me about stuff. Not feminist. What do you do when she gets home? Well, because she can have sex with her. Well, just like once or twice to have the kids, right? Yeah. Well, It's also, it's also, here's also why, and I said, talked to us on the show, that when you go to an event, where you have a... Well, you would bring her to events with you? You just bring a mistress to events. Yeah. Well, people would kill me. They wouldn't know what your wife looks like. You just keep her locked up all day. No, I have to. If I bring some, if I bring some, a love-looking person, it's a good person. So that's, that's also a good He doesn't have to. Shut the fuck up. O-pack. So I do a conference called AFPAC. He's got to do one called OPAC. The Omni Liberal for the Flashing Conference. I hope you. I hope you set it up. Oh, yeah, will you? Yeah. Oh, this is for a price. Oh, <laughs> no worries. I'm well connected. I got lots of money. Don't worry. Well, it takes a little bit. It takes expertise. <laughs> I got expertise back. I got money and expertise, okay? Listen, let's they control that. a lot of capital. They can demolish the largest buildings in the world. I'm sure they can set up a, <laughs> I'm sure they can set up a conference for me. All right. I'll put you inside of all Support the Omnipotal Pact for the status quo. For democracy. Days. It will be the step.
people don't know. Don't let a hater bring you down. Niggas want you to be depressed and broke with them. Don't let niggas motivate you to be broke. Fuck that shit. Rule number one. So drive through with a ghost stick. Fold it up on the brand you repeat a pit. If smoke drop the phone, don't post it. Never smoking on me with a split canoe. Spit like I see the back on his. Put up with the llama. Fuck around with his ass. Wow. That boy, that boy got a llama. Scared. Let it kick out like an angry horse and make him hit the haze. Bite her bite till I try to chop it for me on the face.
Du gang.
which I immediately noted that Link looks a little different in this title, doesn't he? Aonuma says, yes, his right arm. We wanted an iconic feature that would make it obvious at first glance that it is Link from this game. Speaking of Link's arm, hands is a major theme of this title. Hands. Quite interesting. Hands. Can you elaborate on this? Ubiyashi responds, titles in the Legend of Zelda series intertwine all the elements of gameplay, mechanics, and story, and combine them all into a single game. For this title, we chose hands as the key theme to bring them all together. For example, abilities that Link uses to solve puzzles are all released from his hand and arm. We even included the symbolic key of the game's mechanics, such as having scenes that use hands when opening special doors. This hands theme also crops up here and there as a key element as the story develops. Dodo responds, the previous game was a relatively lonesome game, or rather an endurance game, where you made full use of Link's body and strength alone to traverse the vast world. What's unique this time around is joining hands and cooperating with various characters, and at times creating items with Link's own hands and utilizing them as you progress. Takizawa responds, we were intentional about making this hand scene show through the visuals as well in the story direction. If you watch the trailers we've released so far, I think you may be able to get a sense of this atmosphere. Wakai says, we also express the hand scene by, imp by implementing hand claps, such as in the game's music. Aonuma responds, well, simply put, hands express the idea of connecting. This applies to the story, too, which connects Hyrule to the past. It also talks about major struggles called the Imprisoning War, which until now was considered a myth. I rule. What about the imprisoned war? Maybe. Fumiyashi goes, and the protagonist's name is Link after all. Aonuma, oh, I just got the connection. Laughs. Everyone laughs. Aonuma says, it's funny how these things work out, isn't it? You don't notice these things when you're developing the game. Then after you're done, you see all sorts of things that were actually connected. You realize, oh, so that's what we were doing, you know? So there's a certain fundamental thing that you wouldn't change because it's a sequel and because a matter of creating something new within those existing boundaries. It all sounds pretty challenging. Al Newman responds, We set those boundaries ourselves, but new gameplay elements are born when we break through them, so we are breaking boundaries. I guess I was just breaking boundaries. That's a good phrase. Al Newman, turns out that a lot of the boundaries were pretty durable. Laughs. Everyone laughs. Takizawa. On the other hand, the sound maintained just right the right number of similarities to the previous titles, so that it feels like an adventure in the same world. What Kai responds, exactly. We intended to keep iconic sounds from the previous title, such as the sounds that play when you obtain an item to solve a puzzle. Aonuma, breaking boundaries doesn't mean you can just destroy whatever you like, though. Those boundaries give you the basis to feel safe about taking risks elsewhere. Next question. No matter how everything else changes, when you hear those sounds, you'll think, oh, that's a Legend of Zelda game, right? Aonuma responds, that reminds me of how the word deja vu cropped up many times during development. We were supposed to be making something different, but the various things we made gave off a similar impression to what we'd done previously. But as development went on, we look at the game as a whole and sometimes discover that those things suddenly took a different shape because of the new elements we'd added. Until then, we were anxiously trying to change things up, but at some point we realized that some of them were already as they should be. Next question says, so there's one approach to make changes to remove deja vu feelings, and then there was another to keep things the same because that's the way they should be. Was everyone on the development team on the same page early on about those two approaches? Ubiyashi responds, not in the slightest. There were many instances, even later on in development, when we were struggling to differentiate the two. It was a constant and difficult process where we and the development team continued to mull over and discuss until we all came to an agreement. Takazawa responded, we often experience strong deja vu, particularly in the early stages, and we thought it was imperative to transform how the game felt as much as we could. We worked hard with that thought in mind, but once we got to a certain point in development, we were able to identify areas that would lose their appeal if we changed them. So Yashi responds, we started to think positively by calling what we decided not to change the great mundanity laughs. Takizawa says, by the end, the definition of the great mundanity became clear. Even if a team member approached us about deja vu feelings, we felt more comfortable asking them to intentionally keep something unchanged. I suppose it's like when there's a sense of value that isn't shared by everybody 
eventually clicks into place through trial and error. Amuma says, video game development is always like that. When various pieces come together and things start clicking into place, there's a moment when this is fine becomes this is it. And part three will be available tomorrow, May 10th. So, uh, you know, we'll have a follow-up to this video tomorrow. One thing I just want to briefly touch upon, if we go up here, is that imprisoning war comment. I found the imprisoning war comment to be quite interesting because it is a part in Zelda history that has not been really brought up. And they even said that the people of Hyrule thought the imprisoning war was actually a myth. And then it turns out it maybe isn't a myth. And we're going to have the imprisoning and we're going to have the imprisoning war actually touched upon in this game. So thank you so much for this amazing interview, dude. I can't wait to see how the imprisoning war plays into Tears of the Kingdom. You guys are awesome and amazing. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video. Not that long ago on the channel, we discussed the surprise announcement that Nintendo would be aligning themselves with Gamescom 2023, which was definitely an unexpected announcement, considering that we had not seen them be a part of that event since 2019. And that led many, myself included, to speculate that for sure we should see some kind of mainline summertime, likely June, Nintendo Direct presentation, because of course, after Tears of the after her true form simply just aren't strong enough. I like that they're not just writing her off as this weird creature after she transforms, but like the love for her still remains. I think that's really special. I think that's true love right there. True love. Oh, so when Lady Demetrius says it, it's hot and sexy, but when I do it, I'm a monster and under arrest. <laughs> Which exactly of her actions are you trying to emulate? Although, you know what, all of her actions are pretty out there, so if you're trying to do anything she does in real life, then, um, you probably don't. Lady Demetrius said my blood is stale. Tell me, how can I make it more suitable to your tastes, queen? Do I need to eat certain food? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Drink certain things? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Be more terrified? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Tell me because apparently I'm doing something wrong. Period. Let me make it right. I really love all of the emotion and enthusiasm that you have in this message. I guess just like have better blood. I love a hand clap for empathy. <gasps> About to buy Resident Evil just to smack Lady Dummy Trust's ass. <laughs> smack that? I'm pretty sure Coin Jail is at capacity due to Lady Dummy Trust and her daughters alone for the week. 
Sorry. <laughs> yes, it's at full capacity. It's overflowing. We're gonna play Mary Hill. Lady Dummy Trap. Mary, Lady Dummy Trap monster floor. Kill me whenever she becomes bored of me. Thank you for taking me back. So, I just got spoiled about Lady Dummy Trap, and let me just say that I am very down bad because I love milks and monsters. Double whammy, y'all. You're not even real. Uh, that's a very specific niche, I think. I love milfs and monsters. Well, your bliss. The sexual tension between me, full send, running straight into Lady Dummy Trap's big, giant mommy milkers. She's got him. Mm-hmm. Follow your bliss. Follow your bliss. Me. Why does everyone love Lady Dummy Trap so much? No, 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 stop, stop, stop. I don't, I don't, stop, okay? A why implies... If I tell you I'm gonna be home by five, yes, it does, you dumb bitch. I mean, yesterday my mom texted me, I guess Brian Cranston was just on Kelly Clarkson this week, like talking about the big, like, death scene with me, and they're sending it to me. I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah. So they, really? Yeah. Do you, so do you still talk to Aaron and Brian? Yeah. I just yeah. saw Aaron at a karaoke party. I love Aaron so much. Friend. He's such a nice guy. He's he was nervous best. about karaoke. Oh, God. And then he ended up doing it. it I bet really he'd good. be great. He was great. Yeah. But what I, was that experience? I mean, you were on how many episodes? I don't know. I was, Not many. Not many. I was in the second season. Mm-hmm. Maybe like eight. Episodes? I don't know. Uh, so that meant a lot. One episode the following season. And how many episodes did you think you were going to be on when you first got the part? Like five. I ended up being in it more than I thought. And was it something that you, it was already hit by this point? It wasn't a hit. It wasn't a hit at this point. Mm-mm. It wasn't even like on the radar yet. When I took the gig, it was only a one season, seven episode show because of the writer's strike. So it was a big down and back downtime in the industry. It was all slow. Um, I really liked the part and I wanted to get it. And my agent at the time, he was really good and really smart. His name was David Letterman. I was at, with a D, Letterman with a D. I was at Innovative Artists. I had another offer for something else that was more of like what I was doing, what I was doing. And he was like, let's hang on and let's see what happens with Breaking Bad because no one knows about the show yet, but it's, it's really good. And I think you could be really cool in this role. So we held, we waited until I, until that happened. And you were so happy you got that. Fuck yeah, because it was more like, it was like, you know, I, I just felt like it was more in my, like, Wheelhouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. before that, I was just doing a lot of, like, goofy, ditzy kind of comedy roles, which are fun, too. But, you know. Was Vince on set? Yeah, Vince was on set, or he was like, you know, what was really cool about him and those kind of showrunners, Melissa Rosenberg is similar, very detail-oriented, I think. say detailed. Like was we're talking... Vin, was Vince directing that episode? No, he directed El Camino. Right. Um, but, but that episode, like the episode you did, he didn't direct, but he was there, and he sort of like, almost like Spielberg toad Ridley and Poltergeist, where, where Toad Ridley was directing it, but Spielberg was directed. Well, it's just kind of the same, like, for, just for one stupid example, like, the character's wearing a belt, they take pictures of both belts, and they go to Vince for the same shoot. You know what I mean? Yes, yes, so, yes. All little things, like everything mattered to him, which I think is really So recently, it seems like everyone has been talking about this YouTuber named iDubbbz, real name Ian, and his recent controversy. And you have a very divided outlook on the whole situation when it comes to the internet. I've never really talked about this guy because I didn't really know about his career, but now I do, and this is a very interesting situation. But to really understand his story, I have to take you back to almost a decade ago when this man was considered a premier feature on the platform. Originally, he used to always come out of this guy Filthy Frank's videos, and eventually Ian went on to make quite the name for himself with his content cop series, where he called out different people on the internet in a comedic way. He really pushed the boundaries when it came to making politically incorrect commentary. At this time, which was around 2015-2017, I'd have to be described as an edgy YouTuber. I'm gay. Any last word? 
Sanders team stars. Rumble is nation now over 1,386,000. This is very popular with the time on YouTube with the way it's being made and by SJW content. And him and H3H3 gain massive fan bases from doing so while also clowning on other random internet people. Their careers actually draw a lot of parallels in their totality. Now, at the time, I wasn't really watching YouTube. I had just gotten into college, so it just wasn't something I really cared about. But clearly, a lot of people love this guy. I mean, he was like some sort of YouTube demigod who could do no wrong in the eyes of the majority. He was insanely popular, and I guess his main draw was the fact that he was really just willing to say what a lot of people think, but wouldn't dare say. This can be a very lucrative role to fill in the internet ecosystem. But these days, you can't really get away with that type of activity without getting casted away to some other non-mainstream platform. But basically what happens is about five years ago in 2017, he stopped making the content cop series and switched to a much more entertaining style of video. From here, he was still making jokey comedy style content, but it was a far cry from the edge he displayed in his previous work. I want to stand up against the lip card cop. The joke police are going to come after you whether you're left or right, no matter who you are. They don't fucking care. They just out the slide. They will ignore any kind of a joke. They will ignore fucking every single bit of content. And he kept it mostly safe from these new uploads. But still, his audience loves him. And it wasn't really until mid-2020 where a large portion of his former followers would see the first little peek in his armor. Namely, I just would upload a video where he would express what he was perfectly fine with and even encourage his longtime girlfriend, Anissa, to make an OnlyFans page. A section of my audience who think they know me and my opinion on sex work. You can sort of see where these two will collide. With the type of audience he had cultivated up until this point, there was obviously a divide in the reaction, as many began to call him things like a simp and a <laughs> Behavior. To which his reply was basically, I'm not your old dreadly brother that you look up to anymore. A good amount of people are just doing the reasonable thing and just making jokes and laughing about it. But there's a whole other group of people who feel personally devastated and betrayed. You lied to us. First of all, I'm not your fucking dad. Like, if you don't want to look up to me anymore, that's fine. I don't want you to look up to me. I mean, you have to understand that back when he was releasing Content Cop, his girlfriend was a big proponent in the making of the series, which makes people upset at both of them for their change in their tune. So after the OF announcement, their relationship became a...
Thank you. 